Vegas, we love bitches. Coming soon to this theater. everybody welcome to this evening's episode of the horror movie club the club where what do we do we talk about horror movies of course uh if you are new to the stream the basic concept is we uh all agree to watch a horror movie ahead of time it's always something that's not behind a paywall usually there's a link uh to a uh tubi link or youtube or plex or any number peacock any number of uh free streaming sites that uh, have the films they usually uh have commercials but they're always unedited they're always uncensored that's the most important thing because who wants to watch a uh a horror movie that's been sanitized for your protection anyway uh the link to tonight's movie as always is down below in the description tonight's movie is train to busan the uh south korean uh zombie epic that went on to become a huge international smash uh there is a crappy american remake on the way of course because americans refuse to learn how to read subtitles so we have to have every movie that's great from another country reshot entirely just to have it in english but trust me you want to watch this one instead of the crappy remake that's on the way and there's two different ways to watch it you can watch it subbed or dubbed so either way we got you because of course you know we got brothers and sisters out there with dyslexia dyslexia y'all get a pass <laughs> y'all get a pass but the rest of you people learn to read subtitles god damn it uh anyway let me bring on uh my boy what's going what up, on what up, what up what up what up what up yeah i'm still sick yeah i'm still sick look uh, yeah, I hear that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that, brother. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Hi, our Carissa. guest, the lovely, the talented Carissa Grantworthy. Okay. Hi. I was muted for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> That's all good. It's all it's all good. I didn't and, mean it. Don't look at me. Yes. And uh, <laughs> Carissa Grant is the author of a book called Worthy Chaos, which we are going to be taking a look at tonight. And actually, she's the reason that we're taking a look at Train to Busan, because she's like, well, I like zombies, so can we do a zombie movie? <laughs> like, I heard Train to Busan is pretty dope, so. I literally what... heard about it, like, that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody listed all these zombie movies, and I was like, I've seen all of these, but what is this train movie is he talking about? So like you have to go see it and then pops is like pick a movie i was like that's a lot of pressure <laughs> like, so, <laughs> well so, well i mean the cool thing is is that we do have like i like i said like the one criteria always is that has to be a movie that's not behind a paywall right. but there's like a billion movies now available yeah. on and, I, and i didn't know which ones you guys had covered and and all that so i'm glad that was a, a movie i could uh you know say and i have a cold too but i i think i'm getting over it so hopefully i don't sneeze or anything we'll see <laughs> that's all good that's all good and uh pops thank you so much for providing the link to uh, carissa's thank campaign you, everybody go check that out click on it check it out see if it's something that uh is for you and if it is for you of course go and back it back indie comics Yay. be a winner not a wiener <laughs> 
I don't even uh, I don't even buy mainstream. It's all it's same all, here. Yeah. Same here. Your your boy is in the back. I know. Yeah. I was just I was just about to introduce him. I was about to about to say speaking of winners and not wieners. Matt, what you think for Matt, what Matt. is up, home skillet? What's up, What's man? Up, How you dude? doing? Good. Hey, man. that was a good show, Matt. That good was an show. excellent show, bro. Oh, thanks, man. I I could talk to that guy for hours, man. Uh, he I can't wait to see his his book, Chrome Dog. It was very um interesting and not what I yeah. thought it would be. It was dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, no, uh, it, it look, th- that book looks really, really good. Yeah. And uh, the Laura Presti cover, of course. Damn, man. That's oh, yeah, now there's there's gonna be a color version of that. I kind of like the black and white, but yeah, me too. Yeah. But yeah, everybody, that's another book that you want to go check out too. Is uh, Chrome Dog? Why am I blanking on the uh, on the author's name? Justin. 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 Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm a little discombobulated right now. Uh, you know, a little a little under caffeinated. Of course, the <laughs> the Adderall shortage continues. So people like me with attention <sighs> deficit disorder are just like, oh, why? Oh. <sighs> You know, I don't know like who prefers black and white, who prefers color. I, for mine, I didn't print any black and white, but I do offer the black and white PDF included with uh, all the purchases. So that's uh, really cool. I mean, nice. for me, it depends on the book. It depends on the artwork. Like, there's certain, like, I, like I mean, I'm a black and white stand. Yeah. Right. I originally wanted to do six gun in black and white, but back then it was a hard sell. Now, not so much. Not with The Walking Dead being successful. Not yeah. with manga being so successful and eating uh, American comics uh, lunch, <laughs> as it were, stealing uh, yeah. the cookies of the American comics comic book industry. I have to say my artist is, does amazing black and white. Like, he just, it's, it, it, it could be fine in black and white. I just love color. And then the color makes it all pop. So I actually really yeah. do prefer both. And I'm glad he was able to do both. However, we kind of screwed it up and he had to go back and redo it because I was like, um, I don't know, something he did with the, the lettering or something. So he actually had to go back. But we learn now to upload black and white and then go color. And then so hopefully he won't yell or anything. <laughs> are you like me that when you get your pages from your artist, you just look at the pencils and you're like, these are so beautiful. Like, can we just print it like this? I, I just stare at everything he sends me. And I'm so lucky because he's super fast. I know it's not going to last because I've already like pimped him out to people, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. I love instant gratification. And I think a, a dead guy is going to use him. For now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, which he's trying to get me to help him write. So there's that. But um, my artist is so quick that it's like two to three pages a day. And I'm just like, and then in, like he, he colors them at the end. Yeah. Um, which works for me because I get to see all of it, and then all of a sudden they're just colored. I'm like, woohoo! So that's um, fast, hella yeah, fast. Yeah. Oh, he's very fast. I think he. Well, <laughs> so he's leaving for a month on Wednesday, and I had done issues two and three with him, and then I wanted to redo issue one because I didn't like the original artist that kind of screwed me over. Um, so I was like, is there any way you can get this done before you leave? And he's like, I will work day and night. And I actually. Uh, gave him a Damn. bonus, but he didn't want to take it, and I was just like, "Take the thing so I don't feel guilty." <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's righteous. And it's like I love situations like that where both parties are trying to do the right thing. Oh yeah, like he was so good at it, and I'm like, "You have to take this." He's like, "No, no, no, it's okay, Chris. I got." It. I was like, "No, just take the freaking." Because like he, and of course during this time for a whole week he was moving, so like he'd get up like hours early to like work on the pages. He worked Saturday and Sunday. And he just busted his ass. And I'm like, I, and he literally finished it just in time because I had to send it to the printer, pay extra to get it shipped back within six days. So if there's any errors, he can fix it. And I just got it yesterday. So I'm like, I love it. So Fant- um, oh, fantastic. Yeah. So he, he did that. And then he did my cover for my next one, which I am so in love with. It's a, it's an homage to uh, supernatural because a lot of ours is like supernatural. Right. And it just looks so beautiful. And I already showed people, like, I know my, my campaign's still running for one and three, but here's, here's cover for four. Um, yeah, it's yeah. hard to keep that stuff to yourself, isn't I'm, it? I'm awful. Like, I, I tell everyone, if I was rich, I would just give the book away. Like, I just, like, look at this yeah. page. Like, look at this. And and I'm so, I, I everyone yells at me, like, stop giving stuff away. Dead guy! 
What's I, up, big guy? I was just oh. talking about you. I, I said that what you up, got the, I pimped out my artist to you. So hopefully. <laughs> he's also bringing a show to the network, debuting this Friday night. No shit. See, oh, Pop, I bring, I bring talent. <laughs> I yeah, man. Stuff. Well, I mean, to me, that's one of the joys of being part of this indie comic scene. Yeah. Is oh, big guys is awesome. connecting people yeah. too. Right. And saying like, hey, you know, like you're looking for an artist, check this person out. You're looking for a writer, check this person out. Yeah. I, I know you don't get up early, B, but Dead uh, sure. Guy also joined our uh our D D game on Friday morning. Nice. He nice. his his character jumped in on Friday and he's now part of the team over there too. So rock and roll. Networking, bro. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. I, I Absolutely. love everyone. I love everyone in, in Pops's group. They're just I just, uh, I'm very lucky that I'm in this uh, ignorant world of pops is where everyone's really nice. <laughs> and I, stay, I stay behind the veil of pops. Did, people, you, did she so. say the ignorant world of pops? No. No, but me. I'm, I'm that in my guy own runs the world. game. I'm I know there's about. like shit out there. And uh, I know that there's shit out there, but I, I'm, yeah, there I'm, is. Hiding, I'm hiding behind pops. So, well, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is some shit out there. There are uh, bad actors and whatnot. But yeah. all the cool people, all the genuine people, you can only keep up uh, a front yeah. and wear a mask for so long before it goes er, and slips, yeah. right? Yeah. And people reveal yeah. who they really are. Yeah. And, you know, all of the cool people, all the people whose masks have slipped and you see the person underneath and you see that the person underneath is yeah. exactly what you thought, you're right? That what you see is what you yeah. get, see, I don't right? Have that Those people are all kind of like <laughs> congealing. We're like, you know, coming together. Like I a, don't have that ability. I, I don't really think much I don't say. So what, what you see is what right. you get. And then I also- Yeah, I'm a bad show. liar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not that I, I think it's not that I'm a bad liar. I have an awful memory. So I would, if I told a lie five seconds later, I'd be like, wanna know what happened? Like, I would just be like, oh wait, what did oh, I Oh, right, say? yeah, because then you have to keep your your, your yeah. story straight. Right, right, right. It's exhausting to be a liar. To Look, start oh it's so much easier to just own your shit. Right? Yeah. And tell okay. the truth. That's what I do. And, I, and oh, this, I said that. Yeah, I own that too. Just take it yeah. on the chin. You know, like, did you say that? And I'm like, ah, I may have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. I, I've, been you know? <laughs> I've been known to talk out of my ass. I've been known to talk out of my ass. I always make that a caveat, especially if I'm in a debate with somebody. Yeah. yeah. Like, regarding whatever, I'm just like, just so you know, like, I may disagree with what I just said five minutes ago. <laughs> and that too, like, sometimes people, uh, like, sometimes people, like, change their mind and sometimes yes. people promise stuff and sometimes you can't hold them to it but sometimes you'd have to and i don't know it's just weird like sometimes <laughs> it just shit happens sometimes you know yeah. right, right, right. We're, we're gonna bring yeah. this guy's show over to the network too you guys yeah, we're, we're, out. we're gonna bring his show over here too. red Thank owl, you so much for a red owl at night a red owl at night with some big yellow eyes wouldn't that be scary <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, of course, we got Ollie too in the chat from six oh six. Everybody, Carol, thank you yeah. so much for hanging Most out people. tonight. We really? really do appreciate you. Smash that like button, click the subscribe, and we're gonna ding ding dong the little uh bell for uh subscriptions. And let's take a look at this and campaign. Go look at this campaign. Yeah. It, it looks pr it looks perhaps is so good to me. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah, no, he's 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 really good to indie comics creators. Yeah, he is. Right, I'm because... really good to people that are really good to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, really? I I came I came in and like the second I came in, he was upset that I hadn't come in earlier, and I was like, I, this is, I know, even, right? This guy doesn't even know who no, I am. Brian, he's I like, her, I can't help you. You just got here. I met her with two days left yes. on her first campaign. <laughs> yes. But See that's all saying? right. Yeah, that's but I mean, all right. there wasn't a whole lot of time to work on that one, but we worked on this one, huh, Carissa? We're yes, we had a launch on on Lori's show, and uh, it did really good. Um, and every time I'm on, I get you know at least uh, you know I like the people that go go for the PDFs. I don't have to do any work, so right. <laughs> <laughs> feel free to buy the the five dollar and ten dollar PDFs right there. Yeah, the five dollar PDF with the thirty dollars shipping it. In. Yeah, yeah, well, that's awesome too. I mean, you're, you're just getting the book out there, you know. At the other, yes. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you just want people to read your stuff. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's like, so true. Uh, absolutely. Like I just I love this story so much, and. No matter how insane I sound on interviews, they always say, at least she's passionate. So 
I'm passionate, but uh, I don't know what there the it is. is. Yeah, there it is. It's the, the what a the, it's the p word. It's like the <laughs> one thing that our scene has that the mainstream lost a long time. Oh ago. yeah, That's yeah. Passion. Well, none of those people have any say or um, how to say they don't have any. They don't get anything out of it. If the book none. sells, doesn't sell. What do they care? Yeah. Um, but this this story. I mean, I'm I'm still. So series one is written. It's it's five novels and it it's about seven issues per book. So it, it it'll be about thirty five issues. But we're I'm still nice. writing it with my co writer. And yesterday I wrote um, in two hours, three hours. I wrote three thousand word chapter. And my husband's like, "Why do you push yourself?" I was like, "I just sat what? down and write. I didn't do anything." <laughs> like, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the right? zone. Yeah, it's the I, zone, I, and when you're in it, you don't want to be pulled out of it. Well, it, you know, I write this with somebody, and we write it in RP format. And I write for Serafina, and she writes for Draven. And it's such an obsession to get these this the, the reaction back. Like when I send her a chapter, and then she sends me back, I get so obsessed with it, and I'm just like, you have, I have to reply like right away. Um, and fortunately, I can kick my husband down into his room and go, play your drums. I got things to do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're both obsessed. And I always say I'm an, I'm addicted to the obsession because it's just, I, I have yeah. to have everything. And now that I have the comic, like you think the comics would kind of like help with it, but no, it makes it worse. It's like there's more <laughs> to love. And I'm like, give me more pages and, and more things and, and, and I need more. So, oh, that's uh, so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, do you want to tell everybody really quickly what the concept is of uh, Worthy Chaos? Give them like the elevator pitch. Um, the elevator pitch is uh, the two star-crossed lovers are soulmates. She's an angel descendant. He's a demon descendant. And um, they have been thrown together in Helltown. And it's a mix of Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Supernatural in Silent Hill with Evil Dead wrapped around them. And um, Romeo yeah. and Juliet. Yes, it's a little bit of Romeo and Juliet. And a little because... Rome yeah, a little bit of Romeo and Juliet. Star Cross Lovers. Yeah. Because they're the Because they're the Capulets, yeah. That's <laughs> yes. the first thing I got both, out of it. Right, they're both, they were both born on the wrong team. Well, yeah. actually, Draven was created to go against her. And obviously it did not work that way. So his father's a demon and not happy. And uh, her fa father's an angel. And they're both equally assholes. So don't don't think you can vote on either side. But right, right, I, do, right. I do have campaign buttons. I have the eight pops has them. Oh, you got merch. Oh, I you got, got I merch. Got, oh, come I on. Go ahead. No, first merch. show the book. No, show yeah. the book. Well, show the book. Just, pops actually, all bossy. Well, I got <laughs> I got this yesterday, so I don't mind showing this off. This is uh, issue one. It's um, the cover is as thick as the pages, so nice. I guess it's the other way around. The pages are as thick as the cover. Uh, it's eighty pound glossy pages, um, nice. Nice. and only because it's just it's such beautiful art, and it just is so dark that it just shines. Um, and I know people do love the older, uh, the you know the regular page uh, type, and I the the prequel, which is like probably about 35 issues that'll probably be on regular um but this is just i mean look at those pages i mean they just glow nice. <laughs> so yeah and i actually got all the i only have the hard copies of each but i have like all the books here and i just i can just stare at them all day uh and i do now show the buttons <laughs> now show the buttons um, anyway yeah the buttons that pops you micromanaged my pops what the hell yeah he's <laughs> he's my uh he's my agent um <laughs> The demon side and the angel side. Um, I just got this in today. This is for the next campaign, though, but it's Anubis. He's awesome. Cool. cool. Put that um, back up there so they can get a look at it. Come on. Yeah, Anubis looks pretty badass. Anubis. I was, yes. I was like, well, that's got to be Anubis, but I'm not going to like step out of line. This is like the that. this is the the variant cover. Yeah, what the there it is. Button looks like. I like um, that. Who did that um, cover, Grant? This is uh, Ian uh, Chase uh, Nichols. He did the Tick, uh, Teenage Mutant oh. Ninja Turtle. Oh. Red Sonia and all that fun stuff. Um, nice. The nicest freaking guy on the planet who has uh, way less self-esteem than I do. So um, I, I already told him, I was like, you're doing a uh, a cover per book. And he's like, if you like this one. I was like, listen. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> one of those awesome. people, huh? Yeah. 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 
And uh, and I told him he could pick his monster because each each book has different monsters in it. Sweet. So uh, yeah, this this uh, the next Hell two yeah. issues are, are are vampires, but it goes to ghosts. It goes to you know more zombies. This one has zombie mermen, uh, hellhounds, uh, zombies, ghosts, Anubis. Um, you know the the simple things. <laughs> I, I look. I, like I, I love me some monsters. I am a yeah, grown up yeah, monster dude. kid. I always said I grew up on famous monsters of Filmland, Castle of yeah. Frankenstein, at the Aurora Monster Model Kits, all that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing has changed. I'm still I'm still that little boy. And uh, deep oh, down I inside. love I love all, and I do a lot of um, a lot of research. Like all the angels and demons that we use are are are, are true to scripture. You know they're. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the jobs that the angels have is what they do and, and all yeah. that stuff. Um, because I love the show Supernatural, but none of their yeah. angels fit anything. They just pull names out. and then I pull. noticed that. I so. noticed that. If you've ever studied <laughs> demonology or, yeah. uh, you know, read the Apocrypha, the Book of Enoch, that sort of thing, like, wait a second. Yeah, it's, it's a, I mean, I, like I said, I love the show, but like they'd have like, uh, they had Anubis, I think, on the show for like two yeah. seconds. Yeah. They had... Um, uh, Abaddon, which is uh, this demon that lives in the endless pits of hell, bottomless pit of hell, but he actually was both good and bad, and they just, you know, whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, a lot of things they did. So, like, her father is uh, Remnell, and he's um, the judgment of souls. So that's actually what started the whole thing 17 years ago, um, was he would judge souls and bring them to heaven. And I don't know why I thought this, um, but I was like, how does he carry these souls? Like, is it in his pocket? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my logo is the, uh, the weapon he carries and it carries all the powers of the souls. Now the demon, which is Draven's uh, father, he wanted that weapon. And in scripture, he's actually a chaos demon who devours souls. So it fit really well. No. Um, yeah. So they battled back and forth and, uh, he always wanted that weapon and, it, and, um, when Remnell fell in love with his, uh, wife. Um, uh, 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 the demon like captured her and hit her and whatever. But Remnell had just used the weapon to create Seraphina, so it actually became like her heart. Um, and so unfortunately, the his wife was trapped, and the only way to get her out was the weapon, and he could not get it out. So they would like try to kill Seraphina, and she would just get reincarnated. And so the demon created Draven to go after her, and they fell in love and. Um, so, so it starts, I guess, with a little bit of like an Orpheus and Eurydice kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of, so, that's cool. Yeah, so they've actually, the prequel will go more into it, um, but in the prequel, they actually live every hundred years. So I get to write them in each, uh, like the Vikings and, and whatever. Oh, in the wow. Air. And nice. then I get to think of really cool deaths in each one. Right, so, right, right. Um, <laughs> which we're awesome with because we torture our poor characters like you would not believe. That's um, good. But yeah, you have to, don't you? <laughs> Torture your darlings, right? Yeah. So mostly the story is pretty much what the, the limits that these people, these two would go for each other because her death is what activates the weapon. So obviously Draven's main goal is to protect her and, you know, she wants to protect him and they fight back and forth. Who gets to protect who? So that's the main uh-huh. goal. <laughs> y- y'all want to so, see this, this here trailer? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah let's get in there. Okay. The answer is always yes. I'm gonna go grab a cocoa. Rock and roll. Very cool. You know, the background music um, 
was created in his vocals for the song. You can actually get the song on um, on some of the tiers and as an add-on, but uh, it was created Sweet. and written just for our comic book. Um, nice. So That's it's so like cool. a... Um, yeah, it's sped up a little because um, someone told me my trailer was too slow. So it's actually double the speed, which gives me like a slight heart attack when it starts for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and then Anubis is sped up even more because um, the animation was really slow, but he's just too cool not to include. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, man. And speaking Anubis. of Anubis, who's that ch cold chilling in your lap right now? Oh, yeah. So this is, he has a staff, but uh, he doesn't, he'll beat me up with it if I keep it on. So, yeah. Um, but, this is Anubis. He is a uh, handmade. Um, and for some reason, my mom thinks he's terrifying. He is adorable. I don't care. Yeah, what he is. Um, but he has all hand stitching and embroidery and stuff and his little um, gems, which means something. And I'm not allowed to give out spoilers or I get yelled at by Lori. So, um, yeah. So there's there's things I would literally tell every plot of my story because I don't feel like it would stop anyone from reading it because it's just there's so much to it. But um, right. I have lots of plushies, and I, I I made them for me. And to be tax deductible, they're in the the campaign. But um, nice. yeah, because these are my two favorite. Um, he's not. He's only um, in the add-ons because he's not technically in this one. He's in book two, but he's so adorable, and I wanted to see <laughs> mock up with him. So here he is. Um, yeah, and like I got yelled at for merch from uh, a, a few people, and I don't care because it's all for me. <laughs> Well, well, look, to, to I me, did not it's yell like at her about merch. Just so y'all know, I did not yell at no, her. No, it's not Pops. Pops is actually, he's, he's very supportive of my addiction to my merch. But um, this is my 3D. Uh, There's actually a black one. We had, a, uh, Hold on. yeah. we had a, a debate, a war on um, Twitter over which one's better, this one or the black one. And it's right. all the way over there, so I'm not getting up. But uh, and Pops the black said one. Both. Huh? And Pop said both. Yeah, Pop said both, <laughs> both for me, because what Bob said, what uh, Pop said, except for as he's going to point out, not redoing uh, issue one, but everything else has been word of what I have to do. You, um, you know, I I just want to say I love when I see people doing stuff like that, right? Because you're, it's not just merch; it's merch that's handmade. Yeah. By the author. Yeah. That's so cool. I, that's I love so that. rad. I love all this stuff. I'm actually going to work on it. And when I say I'm going to try, um, I'm going to be uh, making little Anubis figurines. I'm yeah. going to be working on that with clay, but it probably won't be done anytime soon. And I also want to make um, the um, the middle of the uh, the heart. I have uh, resin and paint and all that. I'm going to try to make a little ornament, but it could be wishful thinking, but I have my own room to make a disaster. So it's all good. So. Let's there it that. is. There it is. <laughs> Everybody, go check this campaign out. Uh, link is in the chat. And uh, you've already seen the trailer. You've seen the cool merch. Uh, do you want to do tears really quickly? Looks huh? like a lot what of fun. What up, Dillard? What up, Dillard? Hey, hey what's going on, guys? Hi. Back, brother. Th thanks for joining us, dude. Uh, we, were just a, we were just a. I'm sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> I saw the link. You made a mistake oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. It's, you know, I always drop drop the link in the DMs so whoever wants to come in can come in and hang out. Never feel any pressure to. I I'm still disappointed that nobody's ever just popped in just to yell at me for, like, getting them to watch a movie that they hated and then just, like, <laughs> hey, curse at me you. and leave. <laughs> you made me lose 90 minutes of my freaking life. I'm never going to get back. <laughs> F you, mother effer. In and out. He's on there, Dillard. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed about that. Dead Get guy is drawn. super loyal. <laughs> yeah, what are you what are you drawing, brother? Oh, I'm drawing on I I've been working all day. I'm taking a break. I'm drawing a ninja turtle. Oh, Damn. snap. Nice. That looks awesome, awesome, dude. That looks amazing, bro. Yeah, that really does look amazing. Uh, it's a little my camera's a little off, so his head yeah, looks lopsided. Bro. It's not lopsided, but in real life, right? It actually dude. looks 3D, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, it does. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Kinda cool. Yeah. We got uh, Tim Laddie's going to be on Monday Madness this week, and he did some stuff for the Turtles. Oh, I love me some That's Turtles. That's what we're going to be yeah. talking about. Oh, man, you got was... like a little bit of a Kyle Hotz thing going on with that with that arm. Kyle Hotz? Who's that? 
Sounds Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, really, he's, he's like me, me and uh, if, uh, in, in case you're being serious, me and Matt, like he's like our our favorite, like current, like living artist. I would say. <laughs> oh. One of them, certainly. He's like up there with. Uh, yeah, you know, definitely. He's one of those dudes that's like reaching for like the Bernie mantle, right? <laughs> How like every genre has its own like, you know, king. Or queen at the top, and like everybody, high fantasies like reaching for Frazetta, like everybody that's into horrors, like reaching for Bernie. That's how I always think of it. Anyway, <laughs> See, the thing is, like that's that's true though, right? Because like yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I'm in uh, my genre is noir, and, nice. and I'm reaching for for rights in as well. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell yep. yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. So, uh, everybody, go check this out. Yeah, this book looks yeah. awesome. It, it's already really? funny. So obviously, yeah, you, you know, scroll down, look at it. You guys want to see the interior art real quick? Yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to see it, man. Now, see, we I love got how she's few. doing like different monsters every every book. You know, I and, like, like that the, too. I like Supernatural too. I've only, to be honest, I've only jumped in a couple of random episodes throughout the last two couple decades or whatever. But Same I thought here. the show was fucking awesome and fun. Um, I caught the El Santo the episode movie. that they did. I like the skeletal vultures right here. I love the vultures. Yeah, that's dope. That's I like cool. that too. All I told him was skeleton birds, and he came up with an awesome design. I don't. I give. I like to give my artists freedom. So yes. that's uh, smart. Yeah, always. This this is the uh, Ian Chase Nichols that cover. cover. Looks very very. He, he lettered it too. That. He's like, do you mind if I letter it? I was like, do everything you want to. <laughs> now, are you ready yeah. for this, guys? Yeah. Is that like in like an Anubis kind of character? Yes. The following comics no, is intended it's the for mature audiences and contains adult content, graphic language, violence, gore, and horror-filled fun. Oh Pursuit my! At your own risk, you have been warned. Now look, like pearls have been clutched. Page two, bro. Page yeah. two. Page two. It, it, <laughs> right into the gore. I'm going to tell you that I, I warn everybody that uh, it's called chaos for a reason. And <laughs> the first two books have the most chaos and everyone's like, it just goes really fast. It's like, okay, the first two, the first two uh, issues are very chaotic. They are in hell. Every monster is almost present and they have, then it kind of balances out, but it's never slow. So yeah. Right. So, this is the kind of story you want to keep moving. Yeah. yeah monster. It, I think the longest they stop is like a, like uh I don't even know which. I mean, they get in a fight with vampires in the next issue at Walmart um, or <laughs> quote unquote department store. Um, but uh, yeah, they they there is more dialogue coming up. My my character, especially uh, Draven, he's a demon and he doesn't really uh, talk much. He he has sarcastic one lines, but he thinks more. Um, and you have to remember, I wrote these as novels first, so the thinking right. is because I wrote. It as a novel, and I didn't want to take that away from it. So um, it's very novel esque how that goes. But yeah. Well, but one thing is clear: this is not a Talking Heads comic. No. Yeah. No. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I, I think the longest speech is uh, in issue five, where uh, they actually talk about their feelings for like two seconds before they chop off some zomb uh, vampire's head. So. Um, yeah, at, whenever I give them a moment of peace, something happens. So, you know, it's nice. not my fault. <laughs> I guess it is my fault. But <laughs> hey, it, you got to keep that stake. Like, sorry, guys, got to keep the story moving. Yeah. So, like I said, I, I, I'm a role player. So the reason why it's so chaotic at, at the start is I have to get the writer's attention, which she said I damn well did. Um, but I sent her like a 4,000 word reply of what you saw. And she's like, that's the most amazing thing I ever read. I was like, well, you have low standards, but go reply to it. And, and it worked out really well. So, and then we wrote 10 novels within two and a half years. So damn. damn. And damn, they're not son. short. Everyone's like, how short are they? I was like 90,000 words to 120,000 words. So damn. they're not short at all. Yeah. It's actually, a lot of people don't realize this. It's actually more time consuming to write a shorter novel than it is oh, yeah. a long novel. Someone told me, well, it's funny because when I was looking up, this wasn't planned. We wrote these novels and then all of a sudden we're like, hey, a comic book. Um, so, yeah, I had no, this was not intentional when we did it. Um, it just was such a cool story. We didn't want to waste it. Um, and we just thought it fit as a, as a comic book. And we were right. It's awesome as a comic book. So Nice. This, yeah. this, I love this page, though. 
I that's do love awesome. this. Movie. That's a I great like that, monster yeah, reveal. That Anubis, yeah, that Anubis is popping. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, in, definitely not the librarian. Yeah, you know, when I wrote that line, I I don't really think when I write. So whatever's written is what I just wrote. I think the characters are alive in my head, and it's probably an issue and should be in a rubber room. But whatever, it's written. No, that um, means that that that's what that's supposed to happen. Yeah. You well, know? everyone's like the dialogue is so good. I was like, I put no thought on it whatsoever. <laughs> I was like, that sounds awful. Well, like, but- not at all, not at all, because if you've been writing these characters for a while, they're going to start talking on their own. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've argued with them. Like I, yeah. I, 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 and I just talked about this the other day, where I, there was a scene I was doing later when they're in Hell Island or whatever, and and she, there was something I was writing. I was like, this isn't going to make any sense at all. This is stupid. And my character's like, just wait. And I was like, I don't know where I'm going with this. And it actually turned out to be one of my favorite scenes. So I guess my character knows more than I do. So. Yeah, that's always exciting uh, as a writer when your characters do stuff that surprises you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little scary, but yeah. It is. It is. But I mean, that's that's part of the process. For me, I always find it takes a while before that happens. Like I have to kind of be at least, I don't know, 30, 40 pages in. Yeah. Right. Which is why I always go back and do a lot of rewriting of, well, uh, so, of like the, yeah. Well, I wrote this story. I wrote this story idea 17 years ago. And I, I role played for 15 years and I met amazing writers and I would always tell them the story and it just, they always wanted it. I'm like, nope, saving it, which sounded really rude now that I look back on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, nope, I'm waiting for something in particular. And I, when I met this person, I, Jessica, I added her and I said, uh, do you want to art, you know, role play, whatever. One day, one day. And I said, uh, you want a, a role? And she goes, I don't take roles, but okay. And then that was it. Like it was just instantaneous. And it was just so amazing how quickly we just bought. Now we're like sisters. So, and we talk, I talk to her more than I talk to my husband and I live with my husband. So um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we talk and we still, we're still writing. We're writing the spinoff and series two. Series two is um, a lot more mythology. They go through uh, with they, Anubis is more in it. Uh, they go through Egyptian gods. They go through the worlds of Greek mythology, Celtic, all that stuff. Um, so I'm I'm excited to get to. We started. I think we're only like five issues in, but spinoff we're in like 25 issues or now 30. So we're getting there. But yes, yeah. yay stickers. We love stickers. Yeah, I just ordered a really really cool Anubis sticker. Um, so I'm excited to get that. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I really yeah. like that mirrored one. It looks really good on my coffee cup. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard to get a picture of that damn thing. The mirrored one looks really good on the coffee yeah. cup. That's pretty clean. That is. Yeah. I have to send him an extra one because he didn't want to use them. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, man, if I stick it on something, then I won't have one. Anymore. I know. I go through the same <laughs> thing. I go through the I same thing. But then I'm like, dude, life is short. We can yeah. all get nuked tomorrow. Yep. Use the damn sticker. What's the well, this going to do? Yeah, yeah, well, I did a box that, somewhere. I, I got to be honest. Like I had, I had a poll and asked people what they liked the most, and I never in a million years would have guessed stickers. And this, I love it because they're cheaper. But um, this is I what I do it. with all those extras, the stuff that I don't keep, right? Yeah. I put them in a grab bag, and when I go to the cons and I'm walking the floor of the cons, I just give people stuff. Yeah. That's nice. a good idea. Yeah. Nice. I, and I added these. You can get Marketing. them as extras. I think really? these come with, uh, the little ones come with um, every tier, I think, almost. And I have them as uh, add-ons. And people always buy the, the extra ones. And I always was like, why do you buy an extra one? They're, they're there. And then I realized they actually use them. I'm like me. that just store them everywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to start using them. The, the new stickers I bought, um, actually, I think these might be them too, but they're for indoor outdoor use, so they're waterproof. So, oh, sweet. so says the site. There's the lyrics that go for the for the song. That's dope. You guys got yeah. the yeah. a little too. Yeah, a little yeah. too. You guys literally have everything you could like really want on a, on a on a crowdfunding campaign. You got fucking toys. Yeah. You got plushies. You got statues. You got metal. You got lyrics. You got. And the next campaign, huh. we have t-shirts and hoodies. So then we really t-shirts, have everything. Hoodies, like That's everything. Awesome. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, even have the cap. It's, it's, it makes me look like I work at McDonald's. So, but this here stretch it. goal, this here stretch goal right here has some of our friends. I know. I noticed that. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. We got Paul's PTSD, Tim yeah, Fling's Water Wars. We got um, <laughs> Lori's Pale Rider. 
uh, Sam's Rays, but and, and I'm just I'm just brain farting on the other I three. To, but I, I you have know. to bring uh, D, um, uh, I have to bring Final Boy. He that's Sam Carter. If you don't know him, he's he's a very awesome. Um, and uh, I'm hoping he's gonna come on here eventually. And White Owl Robert is awesome too. He's actually doing uh, some lettering for my prequel. Um, because I refuse to let my artist stop and rest and not work on my pages. So, um. <laughs> oh man, if I could have Pre if I could have my friend Preston uh, Preston Acevedo chained up like in my basement. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like hey Preston, yeah. what's up, boy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 how many pages have you gotten done? Yeah. <laughs> you know I love you. You're my boy, but I have to burn oh, you man. with the cigarette. Oh, it, I, I feel so bad because when when I when we first started on two, we argued a lot because he had a vision and I obviously had a vision. Yeah. Um, and I was used to stagnant artists that they were all good, mind you, but I would give them a script with six panels or four panels, and there would be four panels, and they'd be just four regular panels. You give this guy three panels, and he turns it into seven. And it just looks freaking amazing. Yeah. So, it so took just to be clear, this stretch goal has already been reached, and you back this book, and you get these seven digital comics as well. And they're all horror-based uh, genre, you know, and they're all awesome. And, and a lot of them are really zombie. I think like half of them. Right really there, you're getting eight books. You're getting eight, eight, eight books when you back yeah. this, okay? Um, well, actually, my uh, you get black and white and color with mine. So if you get issue one, you get two. PDFs, and if you get the ten dollar one, you actually get six plus those. Yeah. So, so there's a lot. You, there's a lot in this, man. So yes. you know, um, this, this print one, was unlocked at two thousand, right? Yes. Yes. That's my lovely panel back banner, banner back here, um, and that is uh, our uh, vampire zombie there. Um, well, our, our vampires have weird rules. We call them clotters in my story. You gotta um, have rules. Well, Always. yeah. See, I, I called it a species of vampire because yeah. I didn't want anyone to say that's not vampire. But technically, mine follows more lore. Um, well, but... the lore is different for everybody. And yeah. there's yep, folklore yep. versus fiction. Yeah. yeah. Everybody you know, needs and... rules in their world. Well, that's right. Rules. That's why you just have rules. to establish, okay, this is yep. this is like, uh, you know, X creature. Yeah. What, what variety is it? Is yep. it something yeah, we've true. seen before? Or is it something completely different? Yeah, Rules so ours, ours, our subspecies is called clotters because their heart beats only six hours, just uh, just enough so that they don't actually hit rigor mortis. But um, oh, stabbing nope. them in the heart doesn't. Well, I'm I'm also a science major and a criminal justice degree, but whatever. That comes um, in handy, I'm sure. It comes in handy. So you can you can't you could stab them or you know in the heart and it'll eventually kill them if it skips the you know the six hours, but it'll take too long, so you're gonna get killed. So it's decapitation. And it's fire, but yeah. because their blood is clotted, it's even more. Because it always bothered me that yeah. you'd like stab, uh, yeah. you stab a vampire and they bleed when they have no heartbeat. So they yeah, have, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they have this. You stab them in the ankle. Let gravity do its thing. <laughs> <laughs> so they have it's a good it. idea, actually. Yeah, shut their feet off. Yeah, they have um, <laughs> this uh, um, clotted pudding like dark blood. That's just disgusting. And I didn't right. plan it to be disgusting. I just wanted to make sure there was blood. And it's it's more disgusting than regular blood. Um, but if they don't feed regularly, um, is that me? If they don't feed regularly, then they start to decompose. Um, so you could see some of the vampires that are like in the warehouse and hiding. They're like, you know, the eyes come out. We obviously zombie people here. Um, but yeah, so they start to decompose. But um, so, yeah. so these aren't like uh, Anne Rice vampires. These ones are, are are gnarlier, you would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do kind of like they they shift a little bit, like Buffy's did. Not like theirs, but they have like when they fight or whatever, they start to get you know more angry looking and more like they can pass as humans. And we followed the lore that um, vampires actually could go in the sun. They, there is no lore that says that they 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 get. It's just that they are shadow creatures, but they right. they don't they're not scared of the sun. And um, it doesn't kill them, but they do. These do hide in the shadows, but they can technically go in the sun. Um, oh, look at that! They just, <laughs> they just, they just generally don't. Oh, uh, but yeah, so I'm excited, and my artist is super excited for the the vampires. So uh, he's all into this, um, and I'm like, 
he's actually really into it, uh, and we, which is nice because he's not just you know it's it's for the money yeah he's not and i and like i feel bad i keep telling him i was like if this, you know whenever i get profit it's going straight to you like i don't need profit i just need these paid for so i was right. like i, I want to keep you know hopefully being able Amen. to pay more. He's like, don't worry about it i was like no i already feel guilty he's not charging enough he picked his price but this is his first paid gig he has never done a paid job before Good um for him. yeah so i i i found him actually he found me um, and I wanted nothing to do with him. So that's awful. Um, but he, he came to me and I, at this point had gone through like 35 artists and I'm so picky with my characters that I wasted like thousands trying to get designs. Um, and I hated them all. And he comes along. I did not like his style. It was good, but it wasn't my style. Sure. And I said, um, I, 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 I I'm so sick of paying. I said, I have five people about to give me free test pages because they read my story and they wanted to be a part of it. I said, if I don't like any of them, then I will pay you for a page. But if you want to hand in a free page, go right ahead. So it's like, I'll hand in a free page. I saw it. And I was like, yeah, everyone else can go to hell. I'm like, I'm done. Um, oh, man. Then, no, that's great. It's so important to have a good relate working relationship with your artist. Yeah. You want to make sure that they're happy. Did you guys um, see all the different campaigns that she highlighted at the bottom of her campaign? Yeah, I sure did. I sure did. Including That's love, some, yo. That's yep. love. I, love I, I told, I posted, if anyone wants to be on there, I will post them. I back, you know, almost all of the ones because I, they're always so awesome. And um, I I always uh, spirit. Spread, spread the love and stuff. Well, you know that's what? It, though, that's I, indie spirit, the true indie spirit. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny because my in-laws, who my husband can't understand, is why they're they're like so into this. None of them read horror. My family doesn't read horror, but they're so into this and so supportive. And they're like, "Oh, isn't it competitive?" I was like, "This is not in the little world I am." I'm like, they are super supportive. Um, they, I mean, they took me in right away from Twitter. I had never been on Twitter before. I made an account uh, six months ago or something like that, and now I have like four thousand followers. And and That's how I'm we... really lucky that, that they're all comic people and stuff. So. Well, I mean, you know, I've just competition. Thank you. Competition. That's exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I like that. Yeah. You know, and I have I, a couple of them. I'm going to do cross. And uh, you guys know where that term comes from, right? No. No. Daryl Daryl Wallace in NASCAR is the one that coined the term coopetition, where teams have to work together to get yeah. to the front of the field, like in a in a in a restrictor plate race. Where nice. other teams, even though they're competing against each other, they have to work together to get to the front, right? They well, gotta babe. work together to get to the oh, front, dude. yo. I agree. I agree. Rising tide lifts all uh, lifts all boats, without a doubt. And all the time that you're helping your buddies along gives you an opportunity to, you know, plot how you're gonna take them down when you finally both get. <laughs> yes, yes. Because the thing is, is you get to the, you get them to open up, and they show you the chinks in their armor and everything mm -hmm. like that. And you just take little mental notes. Wow. For, yeah, you. like when somebody says chinks in the armor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they get oh, to yeah, come get at you for, for woke that. shit. Exactly. Clip, yeah. File save. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. Without a okay, doubt. I didn't think any of those things, but now I'm on alert. But um, you yeah, should be. Everybody should be on alert. Worry about that in this community. That's right. Because Hillard, um, it's great to see you again, Carissa. Great to. I've never been on stream with you before. Hi. Matt, awesome yes, Carissa, to see Dave, you. Dave, Pops, Dave, hello. Carissa. Right. Right. What's up, no, I, yeah, I, I've seen you before. We, we we just we've never been in the same room. At the I get same pulled time. on. I get pulled on a lot. So, um, which is very uh, very um, ego boosting. So I guess it's good. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, as long as long as you don't uh, go mad with it, you don't want to go mad. No, no, but. I don't have that much self esteem, but you know, <laughs> just, uh, enough, yeah. just enough, just to enough to be able to, to put your oh, art out there and let people. Um, judge for themselves yeah hey can i say that uh um the reason i'm in here a little late is because the wife and i were playing darts with this movie on in the background i wanted a refresher and um oh my god i so forgot good. how much i <laughs> love guy. this movie so fucking good like, it's really i was at good. target the watching writing is so well it's, it's done so well why can't why can't we hire koreans to write american movies well, you can. here's the first thing I want to say. I love that Pops is right there. You can here's do the first that. Thing, here's <laughs> the first thing I want to uh, say when we're talking about Train to Busan. 
right now, South Korean cinema is experiencing yeah. its golden age. Yeah. That's yeah. to say, here in America, that was roughly 1968 to 1984, right? The mm -hmm. cinema in America was second to none in that time frame. Uh, then you look at uh, Hong Kong cinema, which slapped from the from the 70s well into the 80s, early 90s, and then unfortunately now it's uh, unwatchable. So their golden age is over, and it's weird how it, how sometimes these golden ages overlap. The golden age of Italian cinema the was shift. very much. Uh, you know, at the same time as the golden age of, of American cinema. Yeah. But right now, South Korea is absolutely dominating every genre. They're making the best dramas, the best art films. They're making the coolest horror films. Uh, what was uh, the one that got the Academy Award? Um, Parasite. Yeah, right. Right. And that's the other thing, too, is... The reason why why South Korean cinema is the best it's ever been right now is because they have freedom there. They have mm. artistic freedom. I wish mm. I, I that's great. Yeah, that'll do it. Now now I know where I need to move to. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, but then when you move there, then that ball is going to bounce somewhere else. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, now it's going to go to Greece. Do that to me. Yeah, exactly. You know? You're like, you you're like dude, if you move there, there the freedom is going to. You're making it sound like it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> your fault, Dave. No, just, that's, right. that's I'm going to move there to experience brother. freedom, and then freedom is going to leave because freedom doesn't like me. <laughs> well, it's kind of how I always felt. Like I've always felt like I was born like oh, like at the right time, but in all the wrong places at the wrong times, or the right places at the wrong times. Do you know what I'm saying? Like when I was, yeah, I do. I know you're 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 turning it into hamburger, but I still understand what you mean. <laughs> I was born in the wrong era. I was born, I was born era, in the yeah. wrong time in the right place. Well, it's no, like living wait. in like New York City, <laughs> Rome. Uh, any number of other places, yeah. and then if I went like, back okay, in time into when? the Roman Empire, it would have About collapsed a lot earlier. Three hundred years ago, anywhere I'd be. <laughs> right. Um, so a movie like Parasite, for instance, which won the Academy Award, right? That was a movie that connected with Americans more than any American film that year. Uh, what was the one thing? The one. Uh, narrative work of art that Americans connected to last year. It was fucking Squid Game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's because in Korean cinema, they are allowed to talk about an issue that is absolutely forbidden, absolutely verboten in American cinema right now. Yeah. Class. Because all you're really doing is allowing a human being to speak about the human condition. As soon as you start putting rules on that, yep. it becomes fake. It becomes contrived. Yep. It becomes not genuine at all. But when you get something like, like you're saying, South Korean cinema is allowing the human condition to be uh, spoken about in a very pure way. Yes. Oh, uh, how, how else are we supposed to understand what we're doing here? And how we work with each other. It's right. a very complicated thing. It's a very, very complicated thing to be alive as a human being. We need to be able to discuss this stuff. And yeah, as we soon do. As you start, yeah, we do. As we soon as you start putting weird rules and shit in there, yep. then it's it's it becomes fake. It becomes wrong, and and and, and you and you can feel it on a spiritual level. Yes, and even I would think on a subconscious <laughs> level that people even if. The, like people have to know, like, hey, there's something up with this, right? Yeah. Like, if you look at Chinese cinema, when uh, Hong Kong was, was handed back, right, because it was leased to the British for, you know, decades and decades, and then it reverted back into the hands of the mainland, and at first they were, like, hands-off policy. They were like, okay, whatever they're doing is working, so we're not going to fuck with it. And then they were like, okay, now we're going to fuck with it. And... Uh, you can actually tell that uh, a lot of Chinese filmmakers, what they do is they take the anti... First of all, two things always. Pro-Chinese, anti-Western. Right? China, number one. America, evil. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And that message is always in there. And uh, and uh, it's very clumsily inserted. And so what you'll see is the directors, you'll see this in a great movie called uh, True Legend, right? Awesome, awesome martial arts movie. All the uh, propaganda shit is in the last yeah. half hour of the movie. So you can see that, oh my God, these guys are making their movies so that maybe one day they could just come in with a meat cleaver and go, Kashunk! <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. And like, yeah. here, here's the director's cut. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great uh, picture right there. Yeah. yeah is. This is uh this is this is this is a great poster. So Train of Busan, of course, is a zombie movie, a zombie mm. pandemic movie. These are fast zombies. Oh, These are yeah. more, I would say, like the zombies that you end up seeing in uh Return to Dawn of the Dead, Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. Return. Actually, more, a little bit more like the zombies in that shit World War Z movie. Z. I was going to say it's a better version of Z in some ways. Exactly. Yeah, well, oh, you, guys, you, watch well, you guys have actually World, sold World me. War Where Z can I watch this first. movie? Oh, Tubi. link is link is below in the description. Yeah. And uh, there's two links. One to subtitled version. One for subtitle, one for dubbed, yes. And, oh, one, and one for dubbed. Yeah. Now, unless you, ha unless you have dyslexia... You must I watch. I kind of don't so like tough. dub stuff. I don't like the. All right. Well, uh, well not matching up. All right. That's fine. Pro, I mean, pro, pro tip: the dubbed version has the subtitles from the uh, from the subtitled version. Oh, does so oh, you can so listen? Yeah, because yeah, I was listening, listening to oh, the dub awesome. version. That well, because like I, I mean, we're, yeah. we're I'm in the middle of a dark game, so I want to be able to like see it out of the corner of my eye and hear it, but I'm also reading, and I'm like the subtitles. Are not going along with the dubbing, so right because they have yeah. to change the dialogue to make it match the actor's lips. Now I was talking before about Italian cinema. Uh, all Italian cinema was dubbed because they would actually shoot without sound, and so that actually affected the style of their filmmaking. Right, because they were shooting them as silent films. Mm -hmm. And so that's why uh, Italian movies have a uh, very unique uh, aesthetic to them. Uh, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, like you know, whatever version, you might as well watch the English dub because if you want to watch it in the original Italian, it's still dubbed. Yeah. Yeah. Go on talking about Bill Carson. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me run the trailer for this really oh. quick. We'll, we'll, of course, have to be... Uh, careful about it but let's see oh yeah and, and then of course we're gonna have to take a look at what i suspect it what i know is my favorite scene and i suspect is uh matt's favorite scene too uh but, we'll, but we, we shall see about that here check it out of course i have to pause like every couple of seconds because of uh Fuck you, YouTube. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Cinematography is so good. I'm telling you, they're making the best movies right now. Uh, the, by the way, uh, the John Wick movies, those are totally American versions of uh, Korean movies. Oh, I love that piggyback. Wait, what happens if you don't? That was such a good device. I yes, love that. Yeah, it was. What happens if you don't pause it? Oh, oh it's uh, a YouTube thing. Uh, you'll get a copyright strike because it's not original. Uh -oh. Right, it's the same way also. <laughs> That's a great shot right there. I know. There's so many good, great shots. Like, do, look, literally. That thing. Yep. <clears throat> literally, Brian, while I'm playing in darts, I'm pausing the movie and going like, okay, you're turning it over. Now watch this. Right. I mean, it's really gripping. Uh, the pacing is fantastic. I still think it's maybe about 10 to 15 minutes longer than it too should long. be. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I skipped the first 20 minutes. I don't know, man. What? I'll clip it. I, I clip it all over. You missed, you missed the entire point of the him. movie. You missed this character's arc. Uh, so no, that's the thing. Long. That's that's what it's like. This this movie is a, a lesson in how to write anything. Yeah. It is. It's really efficient. I like the dad with the bat. He's my favorite. Of fucked around. 
Yeah, he's got yeah, the coolest I'm, name yeah, too. Shocked. I like the big guy. I gotta say, I, the I, big guy. I the big they're, guy. They're both. They're both the same. With the pregnant wife, the big dog. Yeah, yeah. my favorite. Yep, and and and, and you know what scene I'm talking about? What, what, like I know it's got to be your favorite scene. Probably. Is when he he's fucks got the coolest up. name. You know what his name is in real life? What? My dong. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh name. my god, that's almost that's almost <laughs> as, somebody as awesome that. As wait, wait, wait. Get him on solo. Say that again and somebody Hey, I'm not on screen though, Doug. I'm on. Wait, hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll that's his name. You, we'll, 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 hold on, hold on. We'll put you on screen, brother man. Say it. What are no, you I'm not on screen. I'm not gonna say it on screen. What okay. are you drinking? A beer. What does it look no, no, like? No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. What, what beer? Briskies, mofo. You don't wanna know. Yeah, I do. What okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course you should stay yeah, alive. But, <laughs> that's and the taping, that course, the that's taping the up the forearms, right taping up the forearms. It's such yep. a good like just visual. Like oh man, I'm telling you honestly, oh, though, dude, and smart too. Because so the smart. thing is, that was one of the smartest invasion. things I saw. I know everybody hates World War Z, but the phone book yep. was a great. I said the idea. same thing about World War Z. That was the best part. I give him the phone book. Magazine, though, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, paper, paper armor. The Japanese uh, had that. And it's like when you're coming into the genre, you got to come into it from like a pack practicality and logistics point before you even write the story, I think. Like, Absolutely. how am I going to do I'm this differently? You, it's, this, is, it's, Visually. this movie had so much. It's it's got tears at the end. It's got the oh, character yeah. arc. It has the oh, cute little girl. Everything. It has when yeah, the adorable the, little there's, girl. There's the, the whose pregnant, whose the pregnant wife. I think got, think think about the um the allegory of the characters. This guy right here. Yeah. Yep. Okay, stop. He's I like him. He's I made that. favorite. No, but what what got to be. He's he's big strong protector of yep. his wife he's the bear. and his unborn child now move ahead however many years what is it five, how old is that little girl five six oh uh, she's 15 now no 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 i mean in the movie she's like six like and she's gotta be tight 10. yeah i mean i don't have kids so you would you would know better better than i would oh, oh okay so somewhere between eight and ten so this couple right here Yes. represents our hero and his daughter and the wife that you never meet yes. 10 years down the road they are the same people right mm, it's just a time saying. machine it's a time machine right that makes sense yeah it absolutely does it absolutely I just, does. I just liked it when he said to the the little girl i made that <laughs> pointing to the pregnant wife yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, but it's... but but really, it is a lot of times. Uh, films will do that. Sideways does that. Yeah, Still allegory. Really is, does that Romeo and Juliet, Star Trek? They're yep. all an allegory for the different versions of the same character. Yes, they yeah, yeah. represent uh, the same character in different. Li and look at them. I don't one one guy doesn't need the bat. No, that's Daddy. <laughs> the yeah, other guy is a real man. Exactly. I'm a beast you get him the shield too. too. You got the, yeah. the the young buck with his bat. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I love being able to pick that out. It makes me feel smart. Yeah, no, you are smart. Yep. No, That's I just I thought it was like a, a, surgeon. He gave him the he, he gave him the shield, but then he still was in uh, in front of him. I was like, the guy with the shield should be in front. That would make the most sense to me. But yeah, I saw him pick the shield up, but this is this this is past where my rewatch happened. Um, yeah, he picked up the shield, but he gave it to the guy with the bat. But then yep. I won. I, I, I won. I won twice in darts and was banished to the basement. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, that's All what right. happens when See, you win here, like darts. Yeah, no, he's, <laughs> he's got the shield, but he's still behind. So Dude, he is an uh, intimidating. He, he's intimidating, but look at his face. Exactly. All that concern. Oh, yeah. Yep. Man. Yeah. Because he knows what he's fighting for. Yeah. It's 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 almost yeah, and like he knows a, he's like gonna a, bite it. I love the the and the kids on the baseball team. I mean, yeah. this is all really very generational because there's the girl, there's the baseball team, and they have the bats and they want to kick ass. Yeah, and, and, and also then, that the yep. older generation has an obligation to the younger. Yep. We're seeing three of them right here. Yep. 
in the yep. back. And we have the and younger then, girl, the like, school girl too, with her yep. evil father. This which, stuff the, can't the villain happen. Villain in here is, is uh, a yeah, phenomenal fantastic. actor too. Yes. Uh, the way when he turns at the end. Sorry, I'm spoiling the fuck out of it. But when he sorry. turns, I think he he does one of the best one of the best scenes. There's so many good scenes in here. But when the bad guy at the end turns, he I'm like, damn, dude, all the actors in here, they're so fucking good. You know what I mean? That's um, that's the thing. This whole movie is incredibly well made. Yeah. And incredibly well acted, incredibly well cast. Like everything in this. This is one of the best, if not the best zombie fucking movie ever made, in my Look, opinion. I, I got to say, straight up. out of the modern. Okay, I got to gotta, hold on movie? real quick before you guys go on. Um, I, I already heard one spoiler, but. Uh, I fucking love zombie movies. I'm gonna have to go and watch this right now. Oh, you do <laughs> rock and roll, brother. No, look, that uh, link yeah. is in the description below. That's what we're all about. Like, put we're gonna side. be we're gonna be friends, even yeah. if you leave right now. <laughs> yeah. You can stay and watch so, it in the side. It's all good. Yeah. Do whatever you want. That is good yeah. friends, but I'm, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. like Noah. I can't because I can't have the volume on the movie and then mute. Yeah, you no, it's good. It's, it's, it's good. Want, dog. It, it's good. But, like, Ziller, I, I, I love zombie anything. And it's watching, a fucking watching Dillard, bro. Watching a Dillard draw digitally like, is almost <laughs> the single reason why I yeah. bought the monitor than I did. So yeah. I and I love it. So I can never hate you. Hey, <laughs> all right then. Don't right. worry, Dillard. We're good. And also, that's why we're here. That's why always link to the movie down below in the description where you can watch that shit for free. Like I said, with commercials. If I love well, this movie. Yes. Was there commercials? I'll, what do I'll you support mean? your channel in some way. I'm telling you, like, there's, <laughs> there's no if. What you're yeah, supposed yeah, you to do is gonna like this. you're, you're going to watch like the it, movie. Dude. You're going to love it. You're going to love Brian. Oh. You're going to love his channel. And they're going to buy his book. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> and then I'm going to kiss like, him on the mouth. <laughs> no, no. I'm not saying that. Like, your crystal yeah. ball. It's like, Dillard, your crystal ball doesn't have to be black. Oh, snap. It can be nice and clear and white and... Mm. <laughs> but I do know that you're going to do all these things. Do you guys need to be left alone? I can come back later. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> if you would be so kind, yes. You know, <laughs> just, you know, you just have to just kind of, kind of like oh. act like you're not in the room. Look, so. man, it's the weekend. I can't be held responsible for the things oh that come out of my mouth. Yeah, and this beginning is really is uh, really crazy. I love the beginning. Yeah, the oh my cute. god. Dude, I'm spoiling it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh, dude, it's, peace out. The uh, first this is just the he's like it. I know. That's I great. Drove. No, he's going to watch the movie now. That's awesome. We, I know. I know that I job. drove he's, him away. He'll do that. Care. Like I've, I've talked to him. Like he'll like see it. I'm gonna go watch the shit. Like he <laughs> does that. that of yeah. course. That's cool. Well, I hope so. Yeah. We, we sure. miss him. I mean, rather he were hanging out with us. This movie's low key like one of the best horror. Like it's it's arguably like the best zombie movie ever made. I don't give a fuck. This scene alone, dude. Straight up. I'm sorry, it's how it is. It's it's my wife's wife's the Romero it. trilogy. To me, I the original Dears. Romero trilogy, nothing even touches that. I mean, I do have my top ten. Yeah. I do have. For me, it's like, what are the best non-Romero zombie movies? I got and you. I got this you. is this this is this is up there. Uh, above this, I would have to put uh, uh, the Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue, uh, Return of the Living Dead, uh, Return, you know, Return at the Top. Dead. That's something like that. That's the pinnacle. Like it doesn't get any better than that for Which me. One? Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Living Dead. And this this one is dead like right, Lord. almost there. Like almost there, dude. Return of the Living Dead. Yes. yes. The yes. one where it's the army gas. Where they can't. Yes. Help. The tar man. The tar, with the tar man and uh, the and cramps and electricity. Brains, the more electric brains. Brains. Kills yeah. all of them. Yes. That's yes. the one. Yes. That's that's right. number one. Okay. Hands down. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's a. Uh, Awesome, and that's awesome. why you don't ride the train by yourself. <laughs> yep. Yes, indeed. In, in, indeed. And boy, what, you know, I've always had a thing for movies set on trains. And I'm not a train obsessed person. You know, it's not yeah. like I have like train uh, toy trains mm -hmm. and that sort of a thing. I do. But I've always loved trains. And there's something about movies <laughs> set on a train that just, it's a great setting for a story. It's a, yeah, it's a setting, but it's almost a genre place. now in a way, right? And it was fun. Lots, lots of fun. Uh, Carissa, you were going to say something before I so rudely cut you off? Um, I don't remember. My brain doesn't go back that far. Okay, no. It's, it's, all, a, good. it's, 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 it's all good. Good. Just let me know if I'm being a, uh inhospitable oh. host. 
No, want, trust I me. Want... If you don't interrupt me, you would probably never get to talk. So I just tell everyone to just go ahead and talk. <laughs> it's all good. So, so we, you know, um, the lead character, who's uh, called named Gong Yu, played by a Siak Wu. Uh, by the way, I'm probably mangling that. Uh, <laughs> You're I, mangling that, yeah. Yeah, well, but because right. um, you know, my pronunciation, my, 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 uh, I've watched a lot of Korean films, but not as many Italian films uh, or even like Hong Kong films or Japanese films like those. I can just like read the names off the credits, and yeah. I out loud, and often I will, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Sergio Corbucci. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, um, Romano Pupo. A little easier. Right? Uh, yeah. Because eventually you develop an ear for a language. If you, if, if yeah, you're... that's true. When I used to watch anime, I, I, could, I could correct the uh, subtitles even though I hadn't really. Right. Much Not <laughs> <me>. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, he is unfortunately uh, a shitty father. And by all indications, also kind of a shitty human being. Uh, he's like a hedge fund man manager, for one thing, which basically makes him like, you know, a, a type of vampire. Um, but also, he uh, we, we see him in the, in, in the first scene, in, in his first scene in the movie, he does something uh, unethical, which is like, he's like, you know, saying like, you know, oh, no, like he tells uh, one, one of... Uh, one of his customers basically like, Oh no, no, everything's cool. Don't, don't panic about the stock. And then he tells his assistant, like, yeah, no. let's, like sell that shit right now. And so, you know, he's a, um, an unethical man in a uh, unethical business. So yeah, he lied about saying that he was uh, new. I'm, I'm new. Novins. Novins. Right. right. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I just, I just started here or something. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of yeah, he's kind of a piece of shit. But uh, worse yet, he has he's he's a um, he's he's a shitty father. He has this adorable daughter with the pinchable cheeks and everything. Her name is uh, Suan, which is actually the name of the uh, of the little actress playing her too. And uh, I just man, I just love how sort of disconnected he is. He discovers that it's his daughter's birthday. And so he asks his assistant, like, yeah, what are kids into these days? Right? And so he buys her a uh, a game console, a Wii. And he's just like, here, like, check it out. I, I, I got you covered. But he's so divorced from uh, um, his daughter's life that he doesn't realize, he doesn't even realize she already has one of these in her room. And so she's hurt. Not because, like, oh, shit, I didn't get, like, a cool present. I already have this. But she's hurt because of how disinvested her father is that she didn't, that he didn't even notice this. So that and right there just builds from the get, the relationship between these two. Yes. And, and the, at the end of the movie, it, just that little bit will hit that much harder and slap the fucking heartstrings. You know what I mean? This this movie packs that all, the, really way, all the way through, man. Like, like, for me as a father, like, I don't know. This movie is a, is a tearjerker, dude. Like it, it's it's hard. It, 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 it do a really good job, man. That, I that's was. Why I, I, go ahead. I no, no. So go I, ahead return, re, I love Return. I love the practicality of it. I love the more brains. I love the running zombies. I love all the things that we love about Return of the Living Dead. But this movie yeah, did just so much more, and it, it really puts like Walking Dead to shame. It just like smacks yeah, you on the back of the neck, dude. Uh, and, and, rip too, and World War Z too, because this has a lot of similar inner, uh, imagery, and it does it a hundred times better. Yeah, like the way they run in, they're slapping right onto the train, the bodies, and just the way they do this, they handle their CGI and just all, like, you is, all you have to do is. Write I like the up. dark, the 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 hiding in the dark part. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. The yeah, that's a really the, great scene when they go the, through the, the tunnels. Walls. When the yeah. uh, expectant mother. Throws water on the window and slaps news. Yeah, that was smart. I love yeah, that. Cool. I rewound. There's uh, so many so parts. I didn't get to finish this. My wife hadn't seen it. I had, and I'm looking for a refresher while we're playing yeah. darts. I'm like, I'm constantly rewinding. Look at how they wrote this. Look at how so smart good. this character is. Look at this. The camera angle of the male train attendant when he gets bit and he gets turned. 
and the camera is pointed up towards his face and he's just crawling towards it dude the just contortion. that one shot i'm like look at the camera work like so everything about this movie is everything awesome. it's it's hard to beat dude like and there's it's there's some they're so comic booky and 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 uh manga like there's a scene mm-hmm. where the dude like and it's not cgi he comes at the camera like full speed at the end a zombie and like the way it's mm-hmm. turned and like you could pinpoint and slow it down to where it's it's a it's a, it's it's a comic book dude yeah they, it's they do so. turn very fast they turn very fast the contortionists yeah well like the way they, they did it, oh man and they was it up, one, um and she and my, my wife goes how come the girl that got bit on the leg it took her for a while to turn some and of them then do. these others they're Some turned so fast i'm like well, well she was I, my, my answer <laughs> yeah. i didn't know this i don't know for sure but i'm like my answer was the first girl was bit on the leg everybody else is being bit on the neck true the blood and that's yeah. where i figured the math was oh you yeah. mean like the, right, the, well, it's not like 28 like days later where you know it's like literally 30 seconds right and or in like even in world like war z where down it's down your head. coming to 12. I think it's yeah. just it just like for me like for me personally I think it just depends on the human you know what I mean. Well, it's a brain. Really? If, if it's yeah. if it's if it's yeah. a brain thing, then yep. if you get bit on the neck, your brain's right here. If you get bit on yep. the leg, right, then there's some travel time. Travel right. time. Yep. Hey, what is that? Is that me down there? <laughs> yes. Uh, it, uh, here's the story. Of a lovely lady. You just like that telepod, like Brendel fly, like went down there. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What, what is happening? <laughs> pretty cool. Ash Federation. That's oh, great. Yeah. You can sound exactly like me when I'm going to, uh, uh, when I have to leave later. Jeff, did uh, did you watch the movie? Yeah, I actually watched it with Sarah uh, a little while ago. Um, what would you think of it? I thought it was pretty good. It made me cry. I, uh, I, it, it is a told you. you. Yeah, but this guy, up, I dude. like I that, like, dude. Yeah, I like that dude. Um, yeah, I'm glad, they, that I'm dude. glad they gave him. They gave him this. They uh, pers- retribution. They portrayed him as strong as he was. You know what I mean? Redemption. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean the whole story itself. Like it. Um, oh. There's this great uh, book uh, I have that I always keep on my desk. Uh, I always recommend. I can't believe he's not pulling a toy out in front of us right now. No, oh, I, got, I, got, I want it, like I, that I, last I, image with him standing there, like from below. <laughs> The where my view, like, damn, that's a toy, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all all forearmed up. Seven, seven, seven basic, basic plots. plots. Oh, oh, Lord. Christopher Booker. Uh, I know it looks really yeah. thick, but trust me, you only need to read half of it because the second half is basically just a reiteration of, of oh, the first, first half. half. Yeah. It's a Jungian. I'm very much a Jungian. Uh, it's a, a Jungian approach to storytelling, and it he basically breaks down what he refers to as the seven basic plots. Yeah. And uh, the basic meaning that there are a lot of plots that are not those plots, but they're versions of that plot or even inversions of that plot. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And this is very much a redemption story. And on multiple levels or right. I'm glad you have that book. And uh, I, I've, I've done a little bit of work on the seven plots, or at least some YouTube research on the, Very uh, cool. the, the uh, on the seven plots. So, God damn, I need and, to be on the same page with somebody. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, well, here's the thing. Well, here's the here, here's the thing. And one of the reasons I always recommend this to to my fellow writers is that you you know if you're if you're stuck and you think to yourself, okay, what basic story is this where does my story fit into this Mm -hmm. and then you can look and see what is the typical progression that doesn't mean that you have to follow that yeah that's pretty in the opposite direction yeah right right Right. so it's not like a how-to or a uh paint by numbers it's it it, but it's just a a tool that uh that helps you yeah uh, teach us how to pray pray like this don't say these words every single time just pray like this. <laughs> right. Roman Catholic. Every single Sunday, it's the thing you're not supposed to say every single time. The pits yeah, and I mean, too. And it's all oh, fair. You got a pooch? You got a buddy there with you? Like, keep keep, keep oh. in mind, there, there, there may be Jews in here. I don't know that for sure. I'm just saying it's a possibility. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> in this movie, I always thought that was a guy from Doctor Strange. 
Like, oh, he he leveled up. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's, the it's not him. Oh yeah, yeah, they it's do. Not him. They're, they're similar. It's, that they're guy. very similar. But yeah, that's yeah, the guy yeah. from the Eternals, which I haven't watched yet. The he looks more mellow. Either. Look I'm at like that nice, But I like Doctor nice, Strange. Nice mellow, half eyes. And he's like, yeah. Other guy's more 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 pudgy, more doughy. This guy's more more buff. Yeah. Well, he's, more, uh, he's more of a brick. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This guy's buffer. This guy's gonna like do some body slamming in the in the zombies, you know. And that scene, that like, I love when they turn though. Like when he turns and the bad guy turns at the end, <laughs> and and yes. the the main, uh, I guess the dickhead father, when they turn, I like the right. turning scenes. You know, when they're fully like, all right, they die. Yeah, you know? special the scenes are very heartfelt and they pack, they pack a lot Every, of emotion. Everything in this is is first rate. And if you look this up on, let's see, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, because th this is the thing that's very unusual about this film. It's very rare that you find movies that everybody likes, yeah. right? How many can you name? This is a Star classic, Wars, dude. Star Wars. Yeah, this, like, Jaws. Uh, uh, the Matrix, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Uh, they're very rare, and they're they're far and few in between. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, this has a score of the tomato meter is ninety four percent. The audience score is eighty nine percent. This movie's gonna go up there, dude. Like like it might even surprise you how fucking far it goes up in the zombie like genre. Oh, dude. Like like ten years from now, you're gonna be like, what this has already fuck? had a prequel it's up there with Night of the Living Dead type shit. Like it's gonna be up there. It's gonna like. I agree. Fuck I, agree. I, I, like, I, I, I was I was in the middle of. Like it, it might do that. It might do I that. I was I'm in the saying, middle dude, of. It might do that because the, the the other ones aren't bringing that to the table. We're not bringing that emotion to it. So it, it's a good I was movie. still loving this movie. Ar arguably, again, the best zombie movie ever made, in my humble opinion. Right. Actually, uh, the, 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 go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just gonna say the bone crack engrosses me out more than the uh, any of the guts or biting or tearing this apart. Movie. The sound effects really? were yeah, killer. Exactly. The awesome. sound engineer awesome. got that yeah. wet crack. I love the bone cracking sounds. It's I love the, that stuff. Yeah. Gnarly. It's gonna be wet though. Gnarly. Four out of five. Four out of five chiropractors recommend trained to move on. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, no, that's cool, what dude. Like, I actually crack. think about that stuff, like, for yes. For how come other it, reasons? How come it looks uh, like. How come it looks like Kit's been in, in Brian's closet? Where did you get that <laughs> shit? <laughs> you are so pretty. It almost <laughs> makes me wish I wasn't as pretty as I am. Oh. I've never had that problem. Yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. let's yeah. check out this. Uh... Let's check out this scene. Which, which, which? What is that shield though? Like he picked it up from outside the train, didn't it he? It was yeah. one of the yeah. squat teams. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. But what is that? Grabbed it when they had to boogie, and that—that's a wonderful scene too. When they're in the train station. Yeah, yeah they dude. Think like, oh, cool. It's like, like the army's here. It's like, yeah, but they're all zombified. Yeah, when they when they have the the motion, the zombie motion. The first thing I thought of was World War Z as well, because yeah, but this when is you're a, turning into an animal animals don't attack with they don't think about they just attack like that which is what this is why they that's what they said specifically that's how they wanted the zombies to look in world war z it makes all the sense in the I world can't. and there is an american remake of this on the way which uh, uh, is gonna have the rock and uh you think, wait 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 uh, Gee, i wonder yeah, who right. the rock is gonna play Gee, oh okay I I, i'm sorry i, I thought who. you said it was going to rock and i'm like how could you be sure Sorry. Come on, dude. No, it's Rocky they need Johnson. To make their own, they need to make their own zombie movie, dude. They need to, like, dig no, deep. No, no, the cool. normies, the normies uh, can't watch this. So, let, let the, you know what, and you know what, and you know what, I'm sorry. If you're going to be like, ah, I'll wait for the American remake, good. Watch that piece of shit. You can have that crap. You can have the Hollywood <laughs> crap. You know, suck on it all you want. We've got the real shit. And uh um, the real deal holy feel right here, dude. Yeah, and this scene is 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 just this is bad. These zombies will fuck you up, dude. Yeah, oh, they're oh, man. Yeah, but so he. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He's just ruthless snapping their yeah, necks. Dude. Uh, uh, he's bad. He's bad. I want him on my team, bro. Man. I want him yeah, on the apocalypse, bro. Awesome. I'll take I that full any day. Oh, baseball boys. Come on, right? oh. I'll take him over to the governor. It don't matter, bro. Look at that underhand punch. 
<laughs> most yeah. of this is camera work. <laughs> and, and, uh, I wouldn't even say uh, uh, most head of this butt. is editing. Head head butt. Butt. This is probably my favorite scene in the movie. Oh, without a doubt. That we're in together, it's just me. Yep, exactly. But finally, he's starting to get it. As the yep. film goes 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 along, yeah. he more and more gets it. He and the more, more you understand. understand it, the more uh, you feel like you're invincible. You realize you're smarter than they are. Yeah. I love it. Bouncing them off yeah, the fucking bro. roof? Yes. Damn, Hell you see yeah. that shit again. Back that shit up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they never touched on on headshots at all. They never they never got to the point where they said, "I think I understand how to take these things out." Yeah, there's no direct shoot him in the head. Someone, yeah, Dennis. it's kind of like uh, it's it's kind of like. Um, and it's this giant underback. Kind of like Andor doesn't have any of the four. And it's not like these are like a wall of like shuffling flesh are coming at you. These are just like berserkers. Yeah. Punching yeah. them is a little dangerous. What's that? What that? That's punching what, them uh, is a little dangerous because if you nick a tooth or something, that's I don't think oh, I would have done that. Yeah. Without a doubt. Oh well, yeah. Just like a, a twenty-eight days later did, you have to be one of them in order to defeat them. You have right. to be that crazy As ferocious. And that violent. And to understand right, a berserker, berserker, like one berserker, one living human is more terrifying than you could possibly imagine. One human living berserk person or person always, that's mentally unstable could take you. out like uh, the one of the top. Like for instance, you got the, the one of the UFC guys, top 100 fighters in the world. Someone broke into his house. They went into the, the garage and he yeah. fought him for five minutes before the cops showed up. And he's like, dude, I was dropping elbows. I was punching him. I was, he, he was 170. I'm 200 pounds. I'm one of the top. Hundred UFC fighters in the world. It was on, hey, it's, you know, it's not the size. He was a berserker. It was a young like dude coming to his house screaming like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. He was screaming like that at his house, and the wife woke him up. Hey, there's someone in the house. They're screaming. There's a man in our house. And he went out. He fought him for fucking five minutes before the cops yeah. showed up. You know what I mean? So imagine yeah. that, but zombie mode. You know what I mean? It, it, and it's, like it's a whole terrifying like army of them. An uh, army of them, dude. When I you're, want to hear, I, I, I wanna hear about the story afterward. Where his, I'll shoot you a DM, his, or I'll shoot you the uh, link in a DM. You, you can watch yeah, the video. Or, it's fucking so awesome. J Money, Money sent it to me. I'll show you. Oh, Hi, Jack guy. And then, of course, when they realize that the zombies aren't aren't bright, right? When they realize, like at, at the beginning, they stupid. when when you know that dude has his uh, his shoulder up against the door. He's like, "Where's the lock for this thing?" And the suit realizes, like, he's like, you know, I don't think they know how to open the door. <laughs> yes. Dude, and he just suit. backs off, and it's just like, yeah, they don't know how to fucking, they're, because they're, because they have the most important trait of a zombie, and that's mindless. Right, right. Well, it depends which movie. Sometimes they work the doors. The rules. The rules. The rules. Yeah. Right. Or they can open the it by accident, but yes, the, it's still, they're learning. Right. Well, the, it's, it's there like was, in in uh, twenty eight days later, they're not zombies; they're living people, but they're the infected. Right. But for all yeah. practical purposes, they're zombies in the sense that they're mindless. The rules. Yeah, I right. worked in labs like those. Yeah. Oh, so I'm deep. sorry. Did you say that you worked in labs that are creating zombies? I. Yeah. You know those exist. <laughs> I used to work yeah. in labs. Oh that wait. Wait, wait, Brian! You just turned this entire Pause. stream into something that's gonna last six times longer than it was meant to. <laughs> Let's the, do it. You Side know quest. those exist. You work yeah, no, they do. They do. Shit. Here's the thing. Uh, you ever hear? I'm of still the, afraid of cordyceps. Did you hear of the? Uh, there's a movie called The Men Who Stare at Goats. Have you heard of that? Yeah, yeah I, I heard saw of this. that. Yes, that's based on a non-fiction book. Right. No, I, I know there's an actual branch of the army that's like drugs and mind reading and yes. So it was the backdrop for Stranger Things. If they even hear a rumor that the Chinese or the Russians are fooling with something, they then explore it. They then get deep into it. Right. So there is zero, zero doubt in my mind 
that they're working on creating zombies. Will they be successful? Ice and like getting like moving uh, dead flesh to get up and move? No, of course not. That doesn't no. mean that they're not looking into it. And that's not to say they're not going to be like, okay, well, we can't get dead flesh to get up and move and eat people. Mm. So uh, plan B, how about uh, 28 days later? There's no right. well, there's zero doubt. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just common Chud. sense. Are they going to say Chud? Is Pops, is, is Pops invoking Chud? Chud. <laughs> I not, love that. Not, that's not, awesome. I love that movie. Not part, not part two, but the Chud. Uh, I, I, hate I, to, I, kinda, I, I, I hate to do it, Jeff. You're taking over for both of us. I have to. Uh, I don't want to know about it. I got to do family things, man. See, I told I you. I don't want to know about it. Family comes this, first. The guy, the, this, brother. This, this, handle this guy right here who's taking care of his daughter. Yeah. I, I got to go do that. Okay, exactly. you gotta go. You gotta go say your brother. Yes, they do. I gotta go. All Thanks right. for stopping by. I might, I might be back. I hope you guys are still on. There's a distinct, there's a distinct possibility. Yeah, we'll probably be, be, off it be. It's not a long drive. I'll see you in a bit. All right, all right, brother. Peace out. Yeah, I mean, I look. Would... I'm sorry if you watch this movie and you don't realize family comes first. You, 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 you're, 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 you're pretty much fucked. When I when, I, when I worked, <laughs> when I worked <laughs> in the labs, I worked with the macaque monkeys. Uh, oh, 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 oh meerkat monkeys. Okay. So yeah. tell me what they did, what you did to them, and then what they did to you. So, <laughs> well, actually, I got out right when they started to uh, not follow certain rules. When I was there, I was training the monkeys so that I used to do the EKGs and stuff and take blood work and stuff. But I had trained them yes. to come to the front of the cage and just pretty much crawl out with uh, the pole. And when somebody new started um they said you, you're not allowed back there anymore to train them you had just have to do what you got to do so after they stopped me from training them accidents went up like 80 percent and wow. i i actually yeah. wound up uh i wound up quitting um yeah, and yeah, after, I, after i left like a lot of shit went down and uh they oh, almost wow. yeah so um, I don't know uh, how bad it got, but I, I did used to wear my white lab coat with the umbrella symbol, a patch on it. So, oh, yeah. Um, just, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, I remember there was this guy that was on uh, the John Stewart show back like in the day, and he had written a book about art thieves. And like, well, who buys like, like the Mona Lisa, right? And you're like, who, who buys this stuff? Like, uh, you know, or, or, or like antiquities. Like when we invaded Iraq or like before our, our, our forces arrived, there were commandos that went into the museums and knew exactly what they were looking for and grabbed that shit and split. Mm -hmm. And yeah. John Stewart's like, who buys this shit? James Bond villains? And the author was like, yeah, exactly. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeff Bezos and, has it all. Right. Just in case he wants to sell yeah, it. Yeah, it's in Dick Cheney's closet. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you though, when I worked in toxicology, there's a lot of shit that can happen. So. Oh yeah. my God, I can't even. Begin. Well, that's you know that's one of the reasons why zombies are the defining monster of our age, is yeah. for a number of reasons. One, they represent mass mindlessness. Yep. Two, uh, the idea of there being a plague, something escaping from a lab. Believable. More people believe <laughs> that the world that if there's going to be a, if there's going to be an apocalyptic event. That it's not going to be a nuclear holocaust. That it's yeah. going to be uh, something like what we see in this film. Well, I'll tell you, I, I used to do the observations on uh, the animals. And uh, a lot of them had traits that obviously they weren't, but it, it would make you think they were. So, but yeah, I was there for seven years. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, so I you know it. that like shit can happen. Oh, and the worst part is I had evidence of uh, misdosing and I had brought it up to uh, upstairs and it actually came back to me where I, I shouldn't have been messing around with shit. So oh, really? um, I, I literally oh had I literally had written evidence because they would say like they dosed a certain thing, but it didn't have the right dosage. And I'm like, there's no way they could have done this if it's incorrect. And they're like, oh, well, you know, there's nothing we could do about it now. And I'm just like, yeah, there is. <laughs> But no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I left there and I uh, never bought any of the 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 meds from them. 
Yeah. Oh, what company was it? Man. Um, I I can't say the name, but I will tell you that it worked with Pfizer. So it um, worked with Pfizer. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a lot of when I first when I upgraded out of the the labs, I was responsible for taking in the calls, and we took all of the side effects from Pfizer. And <laughs> that shit is man. It, it, first of all, people are stupid. But um, really, so that, agreed. Yeah. Wizards it's, first rule. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me just tell you something. It's so um, true. <laughs> Never I, ascribe to evil what can be explained with by stu stupidity. Have yeah. you ever seen a suppository? The things are huge. These people were eating it. Like there was a whole uh, um, mass of people that would just eat this giant wax thing. Like the people are just stupid. Um, and, and and interesting. I was never bored. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What we did, we did test a lot of Pfizer's drugs and, yeah. um, and, uh, yeah. And a lot of it is being sued right now. Uh, Pops, are we still on the air? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, please, please continue. Please continue. Yeah. <laughs> Justify uh, every reason why I don't touch anything. We're going to get stuff. disappeared. Yeah. Well, please. <laughs> whatever yeah. it takes to get me off this rock. No. <laughs> All, all I'm gonna say is I I, I went kind of uh, holistic after I worked there. Um, yeah, uh, everybody, we're, none of us are feeling suicidal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm good. We love our I'm lives. Sure. Yeah, but uh, it it's it's been a while. It's been a couple of years, but uh, fortunately, I I left. So they You've didn't, had a really didn't... interesting life, haven't you? They, no. But it sounds interesting. <laughs> um, but I I they wouldn't let you out. Like if you work in the labs. You yeah. weren't allowed Hill. to work anywhere else cool. in that building. Okay. Every job that you would get or every interview, they would cancel it because they, they wouldn't let you leave the labs. Um, it wow. wasn't until I had a quote-unquote uh, breakdown where I uh, barricaded the doors of the uh, dog rooms so that they weren't allowed in. Um, and then <laughs> oh, my God. They, they tried. Well, what happened was is they dosed these dogs, and they they dropped right away. Oh and, no! Uh, so they yeah. killed these dogs. No, they didn't die. They 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 were on. They couldn't get up, and they would wag. They would still wag their tails when they saw me. Oh my god! Right. They couldn't get up, so they wanted to come take blood from them, and I wouldn't let them. So I I barricaded the the, the everything, and they like ha they would call me down, and I was like, you're not allowed to touch dogs that have dropped. That's the policy. You shouldn't be in here. Um. So they kept. They took me out of the labs, and they kept trying to make me quit. And I contacted a lawyer and I said, can, if they fire, can they fire me? And they said, they won't fire you. And I was like, all right, I just won't quit. Um, and so they had to give me a job outside the building um, because they didn't want me anywhere near the labs. So Man, and I, there's no way I could fucking hang out and watch that shit. <laughs> yeah, and no, it, usually, cause I used to do, they never had drugs that were that uh, extreme. I would normally just do like blood work <clears throat> or, you know, EKGs or, or whatever. Um, but then when they had new management and they started taking on more severe drugs, I, I couldn't handle, I'm an animal lover. I couldn't really Same handle here. that. Um, and I had to get the hell out of that, but they were, just, yeah, I they would were, kill a motherfucker. Some of the shit that I've heard, I would just yeah. be like, at, at some point my knees would be on somebody's chest and I would just be like, boom, 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 grounding and pounding. Yeah. And yeah. Crying at the same time. Like, oh, you motherfucking <laughs> piece of you shit. Know, I, I got out just in time, and everyone told me that I got out. They were all mad at me that I got out because they none of them can get out. And I, and I mean, I, I used to weigh the drugs and everything. I knew everything about it. So um, when I finally got out, I I was like celebrating. But my friends are still like trapped there. <laughs> so really, like, wow. I, I like you said that they don't let you quit. Uh, they well, they actually got mad at me for getting out because they said I faked my my breakdown, and I. I didn't technically fake it. I mean, it's really not that hard to do, though. How could you lose your? I mean, yeah, but I mean, like in a in a scenario like you described, how could you not lose your shit? Yeah, yeah like why you had they, a perfectly right, rational like, reaction to that. I mean, yeah. I went from I was a veterinarian technician, and they they brought me in. So it, when I first came in, I said, I I mean, I'm a I'm a a vet tech. So I mean, I I'm here, but I I don't want to be involved with you know any of that. And then when they kept dragging me into it. Um, I was like, this isn't what I signed up for. And, and then I, I couldn't get out and it, it was gold. I used to call it golden handcuffs. I mean, I made more than, you know, anyone else did. That's how they, they keep you there. Uh, but I finally got out and then my friends were there and they, none of them talked to me anymore. 
um, because I abandoned them. I was like, you oh, whatever. I'd be uh, like, yeah. I'd be like, you know, if you can get out of this motherfucker, go. Yeah. They actually had to give me a $20,000 raise just to get me out because um, I there was nowhere else I could work without giving me that raise. And I, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they tried to get me to quit. Like they would bring me, they would Scary. stick me in places like the library where, and I love books too. And they would make me like slave over these books and like, like throw them away and, and, and carry like thousands of pounds a day just to get rid. And I wouldn't quit. And they would bring me into these Pretty rooms and be like, don't you think that you need to quit because um, you can't be around animals? And I was like, uh, nope. Um, and it took like a year, I think, till they finally gave up and we're like, good. I guess we got to get her a job. So, <laughs> so. Well, good for you. I mean, Oops. good for you for hanging in there as long as you did. Seriously. Yeah. Well, they still talk about me. So the chick that barricaded the walls and the, the doors with uh, chairs and tables and shit. So. Right. But yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and uh, dead guy, d don't think that anybody here is judging you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, yeah. I was about to ask you. I heard something. I heard something in it, like a testimony. It was like a, a testimony about this guy who worked in a slaughterhouse. Do they? Um, you know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'll look it up for, my, it up for myself. <clears throat> We're talking about zombies and like flesh and other this depressing Love shit. Love you. Love you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, no, I, I could only, yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah. Yeah. see the uh, GP conversation. Sorry. Sorry, but uh, no, no, it's, it's it's all good. Yeah, uh, this was I, when this happened. I saw them like oh, this is not this is not going to be good. Uh, the uh, which is uh, when they first showed the um the crowd at the top of the stairs. With yeah. Sonya like with his camera, I'm like, it was there was such a subtle beginning. I think you guys probably covered all this at the beginning, but it was just a such a, a subtle beginning. One of my favorite things was when the one dude like just attacked the other one just outside of the window. Yes. And the little girls. It's it's Sunni, right? Yeah. Uh it's um let me see. Let me let me let me double check here. You it's uh, Suan. Suan. Suan, yeah. yeah. So uh, and, and Sarah Who's pointed like out, <clears throat> her name is the same as the character just spelled differently yes yeah uh probably for the sake of um uh uh, uh can, i would say for convenience but if you're working with a child actor i would think if you're using their real name it would probably be a, a little bit uh a little bit easier yeah, she's them. not a child actor she's an actor who happens to be a child, be a child. I mean, yeah she's, she's not like a little shirley temple that's <laughs> yeah yes that's, yeah, that's yeah. the thing this is like a, that's the thing about child actors. Uh, like when uh, Joe Bob, uh, oh, I was about to say Joe Bob Briggs, when Billy Bob Thornton was uh, looking for to cast the kid in uh, Sling Blade, he said he had all these like uh, kids come in to uh, that auditioned and that most of them were like little Shirley Temples. That's mm -hmm. to say they could all sing and dance and like their parents were way more into it than the kids were. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that, yeah. and and then he met, and then he met this little boy, uh, 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 Lucas Black, and he was just like, like, what? So what do you want to be when you grow up? And you know, he was like the only kid that didn't want to have an Academy Award and a Grammy. Like yeah. He was just like, oh. yes. Yeah, he's a good actor. He then he then he ended up in like Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Gotham pretty, was a good show. Uh, Legion. Uh, he's Legion. also in that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right I about that. Yeah, but he was like this incredible child actor because, like, like uh, Billy Bob Thornton said, he was just like he wanted to grow up and be like a bass fisherman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice. And He's a real so, dude. He, like, so, so he wasn't rawness. acting; he was just a little kid. And th that's that's very much how uh, how she, how she comes off. Uh, it, it, it it's it's. Uh, it's a, it's, you know, it's such an important role because this is very much a, uh, a story about a father. And so needless to say, fathers. You know, yeah. Uh, about, different ones, you. right? It's about different, fathers. Yeah. It's about in different in different ages and different walks yes. of life. Yes. Different time periods. Yep. And, uh, oh yes. Yeah, pretty cute scene with the, uh, with the baseball team. 
Yeah. Where uh, this girl is uh, is tagged along to be their cheerleader, but she's really uh, like macking on on on, uh, on this boy, mm-hmm. and he's like very sort of shy. And he's putting her putting his head down, and they're like, "Accept her, accept her, accept her." And they're like, "Yeah." They're, they're like rooting for her. Um. So I mean, all of these characters, the the the, 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 the two older women, the yeah. Two, the, yeah the, 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 uh, I mean, um, it's so important. A movie like this doesn't work if you don't care about the characters. It really doesn't. Are Real they really characters. sisters? Uh, you know, I don't know. Because they look alike right there. <laughs> right. Yeah, one In the old the, days, um... they'd be like, said to be re-educated, be sent to a re-education camp. I like how well, they're not right over anything. You know, in, in when Japanese anime, they have to be go into training to get their regular voice back, so they don't mess around. Interesting. I like you how know, the like... characters in here are very archetypal, like a lot of them, you know what I mean? Like they stick out and they're easy they to like are, pinpoint. You but know what they I mean? are, yeah, they are. But what's so great is yes, they're archetypes, but they're also just work as just people. Yeah, totally. And yeah. that's yeah. hard to do. That's it hard is. to do. It uh, is. They could do a good job of balancing the attention. Like you know who you know who the leads are. You know who the like the and, and so and so like the background characters are like they're not they're mid ground, you know. They're always part of the team. They're an effective part of the team, but the p- team's being led by the two guys, and it's almost like it's almost like the you know there is a hero combined in the two of them together. Like you know, it's almost like um, they're like a like a two part Voltron. You know, where you've got the strong guy, and then you've got the other guy that I wouldn't say he's got brains, but maybe an intellect. You know, oh which, those two, yeah, that might quite not. Those might be the same things. I, I say that a lot. Like where I'll say something, he's not banning him; he's just restricting him. Yeah, so right. so I'll do that right. shit. But I only try to sound smart. Sometimes it works. Um, but you do him right now. Likewise, right? Yes. But yes. I thought it was pretty right. cool the, the way well, that they well, focused pause. on the heroes being the way that they were. And the only thing that this place, this movie, is missing, and they shouldn't have tried to get it in the first place, is a dismembered prick. Every I, I shouldn't really say every zombie movie, but I remember watching um, um, Brian. Read your Twitter DMs right now. Okay, I'll read, I'll read, read my Twitter DMs. When you when uh, I was watching um, uh, Shaun of the Dead, which I thought was a great showcase of his range of acting, because when he had to kill his own mom. So anyway, the guy that was like, "Finally, you did something right," and then he gets backed up to the, and then he's dismembered. The, thus, the dismembered prick. There's that. The you love Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, Shaun <laughs> of the Dead. That's yeah. So which was? And, go ahead. Well, in Day of the Dead, they had there was like the one military guy who gets his head pulled off. Yeah. So I thought the really great effect was that his yeah. his voice went up in pitch. Yeah. Well, his head was being pulled away. I thought that was yeah. great. Another dismembered yeah. prick. There's always like a dismembered prick. I can't say always. Because yeah, the asshole in Night Living Dead didn't, didn't get pulled apart, you know. We need somebody that we want to root for to get killed and not feel guilty about it. Right. Always. So the businessman here, he didn't get dismembered. No. But it was a little bit more poetic justice. Yes. Yeah, and he had a really good scene too of like turning at the end too. Was, and he didn't know that he was infected. Believ- believable, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love when it comes across the they come across the guy that's uh stuck aboard the train that's like a survivor. Mm-hmm. Uh, who hasn't been bitten, and the uh, you know the older businessman just uh, you know says like to the you know to the little girl to Sue Ann like don't be like that when you grow up, and yeah. my, and he's like and she's like my mother always said that people that say that sort of a thing are bad people, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like whoa, yeah, she must have flunked out. Is that wrong? No, not at all, not at all. Um, yeah, this character, of course, that guy. Uh, the whole cast in this is just absolutely fantastic. I yep. mean, of course, you have to, even in a story like this, you have to have a villain. And zombie stories have always been, since Night of the Living Dead, to a large degree about how people work together or how they don't. Yeah, I always said, because whenever I have to write like zombie survivals, I always said I'm more worried about the humans than uh, zombies any day. Though, yeah. running zombies do go up a ladder a little bit. But, oh, way. Um, yeah, you don't really stand much of a chance uh, yeah. against these kinds I, of zombies. I do like uh, the quick turnarounds because it's so much easier to contain the, uh, you know, because if they change really fast, you can 
catch it faster. But um, right, I, and but, yeah. I, I know there are some people that are that are like, well, flow zombies aren't scary because they could never happen. If there were flow zombies, there wouldn't be like this big zombie outbreak. Everybody would get together and put and and put put them down before it got out of hand. I'm like, that's not true. Because really, they're quiet. Really, they hide yeah. better. Yeah, it's just the, like give you're the me person, a fucking break. Give you're the a, person just got bit on the back of the head while you were saying that to me. <laughs> exactly. Those, and those all they have to do is lie about you and you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine like having a conversation like that with somebody like I cannot stand this? Meanwhile, here comes up a zombie, and that you just look off a little bit, that like lock eyes with them again and go, keep going. <laughs> Explain the part you're in the crazy. middle. I was I missed the part in the middle. Okay, thank you, Mr. Zombie. Right. Yeah, and uh, it's worth mentioning that this movie has both a prequel and a sequel. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know that. Uh, I think I saw... Are they out of, uh, they out of uh, uh, plane? <laughs> no, 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 no. There is a zombie movie that was made long before this, all called, though, called Plane Dead. That what? came out, I think, like 2008, which is really? actually fun. Yeah, I actually enjoyed that. It's a prequel, huh? There was, no, no, uh, no, no, no. That's a different film. No, What's the uh, prequel no, the, to this? The prequel is is an animated film called Soul Station. I'm gonna actually uh, let me up, let me show you the tra trailer. That's what that. I want for my series. If everyone asked me what would I pick, a show or a movie, and I said I want an animated, a rated R animated uh, series. Yeah, okay. wouldn't that be awesome? No, same yeah. here. I want a movie. <laughs> Scarface. I don't want a movie. They'll just screw it up. I mean, I want to direct it. Well, it's like, well, that, that that's the thing. I would, I would love there to be a live action Six Gun Gorilla movie. It just as long yeah. as it's not as long as it's not American. As long as, as, long as it's not as made in control. Hollywood. That comic book looks freaking amazing. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, with the animated, mine's so long that I need I, the actors would be dead by the time I finish my series. <laughs> right in animation, right? You can, the, uh, yeah. it's like a comic book. Well, so you go on forever. Animation's dope too, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it's a, yeah. I mean, it's. I, I haven't seen this. I've seen the sequel. I haven't seen this. I mean, it's only been out for like what, like six or seven years. Well, I'm just saying animation as opposed to film. Like. Right. Well, that's the goal someday. We're both good. Yeah, the the animation here isn't. Uh, isn't really my cup of tea. It's very clearly computer animated. I mean, it's like, not terrible, but it's it's not it's not beautiful. Yeah, it's like Metalocalypse shit, right? But Metalocalypse, it's like okay, but those are like fifteen minutes long, and they're they're, ten, they're eleven hilarious. minutes long. They're yeah, eleven I, minutes long. <laughs> I told yes. my artist he has to go to animation. Right. I think that's the reason I haven't watched this yet, is because the animation isn't uh, doesn't doesn't look great. It's like people are always surprised that I've never even watched a single episode of, of Family Guy, but I'm sorry. It's just like I look at the animation, even the character design makes me. Yeah, go, that shit's yeah. hilarious, dude. That shit's funny as fuck. That's what I've heard, but it, it's I watched like the first I few seasons. I haven't watched really too much after that, but it was it was funny, dude. That's what everybody says. I stopped watching The Simpsons too, like after the first ten years or some shit. You know what's funny? The when The Simpsons first aired, it was so subversive that yeah, my yeah. brother and I we uh, videotaped every single episode. Yeah, I because we were too. convinced. We were convinced. It was, it was on the uh, Tracy Ullman show first. Tracy Ullman, yes. yeah. Yep. Used yeah. to, we used to wait for the com we all like we started hating the show, but we'd wait for the commercial, and then yeah. they'd be like once in a while they skip it completely, and we're like, we got gypped, man. Yeah. Oh, those original shorts are are friggin' awesome. Yeah. yeah. I always love the the Halloween Treehouse. What are you saying? Oh, about? Yeah, oh yeah, those are all, those are all the perfect. I, like, I waited for that. Those are my favorite. I waited for that too. That was wasn't there? I think there was their first episode ever a Treehouse special that wasn't on Tracy Omen. I can't remember. I can't remember. I somebody said the very first one was a, a treehouse before, but uh, I think it was. I, I think it know, was. I, I, it might have you been. Might, you, you might be right about that, but it was funny because my brother and I, like I said, we videotaped every single episode because we we're like, "Oh my god, this is so subversive! It's never going to have a second season." 
Yeah. And so it will never be in syndication, and then it will disappear, and we will never be able to see that shit again. You're horrible at predicting, man. <laughs> oh, I was right about the Henry Cavill thing. I was right yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah. But but what but yeah, no, I mean, and like what? The Simpsons is still running, what, like 30, 35 it's years? The longest later? running uh animated series, oh. and I think it's almost the longest running show. Show. It got, yeah, it got yeah. it was Dateline, I think, or one of the Doctor Who, I remember. Yeah. Oh, and after but after all the hullabaloo about, you know, which one is worse, married with children or the Simpsons, you know, after all that was true. over, the Simpsons got like some sort of good housekeeping or parents, some sort of magazine gave them a award for being the best cartoon. Like, you know. I love the movie. Families, too. this is pro children was my family. That and Roseanne Bart, the Roseanne show, my, that was my mom to a T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom too. She doesn't watch this, so it's all right. No, but we always used to watch that. That's that's my mom's humor. And Roseanne Bard just came back with stand up like yesterday. So. Oh really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really. She's coming back from cancellation. Did you guys yeah. ever see the ever see ever watch uh, the Green Room? I think it was on Paul Provenza's Green Room on. Uh, well, you can get clips of it on YouTube, but but she's on some of them, and it's basically just a bunch of comedians in a circle. There's like there's crowds behind them, but they're just they're just talking to each other. It's um, it's the green room with Paul Provenza and the ones with, with um, like the Dana Gould is in some of them. Um, they're good, but, but Roseanne's in one of them. She explains the whole burnt cookie thing. Dana Gould. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a little hard on against that guy. He's like a real shit lib. That's, that's, oh, that's, this, right. that's no, I know it's like, like very pro censorship, you know? Yeah. When he's, um, I'm, yeah, but, but he's funny. He's funny. No, that's fine. There are I know, I know. Yeah. It's the same thing with like Pat Oswald. I want to see some of the movies. But, I'm like, but yes. you just apologized for taking a picture with Dave Chappelle. I know. Oh. I know. I know. That's, yeah. It's, it's, it's frustrating. But that's the thing that uh, a lot of people, unfortunately, these days have an inability to do. Like I have these uh, this friend that's all about like, you know, cancel J.K. Rowling. And if you play Hogwarts Legacy, I don't even want to know you. Right, where they're like bullying people into not reading books and not playing video games. Yeah, like, hey, dude, you're talking about Harry Potter, bro. Like, get my son's up there playing it right now. It's like, what? get back to work, bro. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, really? You're yeah, like, my friend. Like, you're fucking stupid. Like, I don't right. even talk to you. Exactly. Anyway. Then, oh, it's thank you, dumb. thank you. Yeah, it's called life editing. <laughs> yeah. Like, come oh, on, bro. You're doing me you're, exactly. You know, that's oh god. Yeah, it's like they can't. I have to try to even, even explain. <laughs> Occasionally, I have the misguided uh, urge that I give into that I succumb to, which I did today, and try to like have like a calm, reasoned, measured discussion with somebody and say, "That's the main thing, dude. You got to so you, you know? like you know you can maybe separate the art from the artist." Yeah. It's like, no, they can't do it. Sometimes. I want to separate the art from the artist. I want to separate the policy from the person. You know, I can hang an American oh, flag. Up, separate the there are some the people around from, me. From the huh? artist? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, the, well, let's see. Um, hey, look, I love Roman Polanski's uh, horror films. He's one of the best horror directors ever. Uh, if I saw him, like, trolling at my local uh, shopping mall, he might have to have a little accident if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I mean, there's that, he but there's have... also like, I'm not going to be your friend no more because you watch this or you don't watch this or you don't support this. That's fucking stupid. Or what are you, it's two retarded, years old? Dude. Yeah. It's I mean, retarded, dude. Like, I mean, not two, but I mean, what are you, it's like, like? Yeah, it's literally backward something? thinking. Yeah, what if he like, wanted to separate an art from an artist, but he was a tattoo artist that did his own tattoos? That's rough. <laughs> hard that, to separate, that, right? That's rough. That's a challenge. Pops, uh, could I need to go and uh, get get myself a quick refill? Uh, yeah. If you're manning the boards, can we take another look at uh, Carissa's ca campaign real quick? I can probably make that happen. See if her numbers have gone up at all. All right, I'll be back in a sec. I can probably. Yeah. Best general audience animated TV broadcast production 2017, Bart Hood. Yeah, animation's what, awesome, though. Like, is, don't get me is wrong. There any, is is there any particular part of this that you want to focus on, Carissa? That you want people to look at? Um. Well, mostly, like you said, the internal pages. 
Yeah. Um, the interior baby. <laughs> That's what we're buying, right, guys? Really? At the, the end guts. of the day? Right? Yeah, I would, I, I would. It's very hard to pick a page because nice. I love all the pages. I like um, that page. That's yeah, page it was the she jumps right into it. Here, have some headless corpse. This, yeah, this is the second page. I should put the picture. I don't, I don't think I have the picture where she throws the head, but I should have put that picture. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I saw it though. Yeah, the, the yeah, it bounces that, that, off yeah. the door. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a hard time not showing everybody. I'm, I'm pretty sure at one point in time I have shown everybody everything, but I spread them out and put them out of order. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> But yeah, I want to live in that house. I love that house. Yeah, it, it was such a tricky thing because the original artist had done the the, the house and my new artist hated oh. it, but he had to do it in book three. So when he redid one, he's like, can I fix the house? And I was like, well, then you got to go fix the house in three. He's like, I don't care. I was like, go ahead. So he hated <laughs> yeah, I like the whole house. thing. I this could live this in house that. looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Draven. I love the moon in the next shot that mm. and it's hard to show like i don't know if you can zoom in but in the very background behind her there's actually ghosts coming right there that the little cloud oh, there's cool. little people in there yeah because i forgot i even wrote it in the script i said make it barely visible Ooh. because mm. in the next picture it gets closer and closer so um, yeah, that's hard yeah. it's hard to set up too as an hey, artist does it say, to make them like that you know does it say sex in the stars in the night sky you know you can't do that. Walt Disney's going to ask you like first. They're going to do what like, now? Did you write the word "sex" with stars in the night sky? No. <laughs> we, EBS. I'm good, but I'm, I'm clever. Like, hey, that's our thing. You don't do that a lot. I mean, the thing about comic books when I write, like I like he first had that gate shut, and the gate had to be open because they they run through it, and I, so we'd have to be like, oh, go fix the gate, and then he had to have the <sighs> iron posts on the walls because the ghost can't go over it. So uh, really? I had to explain. Yeah, they, the ghost can't cross iron or um, salt. So I had to say, you have to go back to the stone wall and put the little iron bars across so they can't go. So I, I'm very good with details. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, you, you got to watch the background because I do all these little things that people wouldn't even know, but I know they're there. So. I know, like, that's, what I, that's what I think about all the mistakes in my models. I'm like, son of a bitch. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Well, let me tell you about everything that's wrong with it. See this? Over there, just not quite the same. I like yeah, this page right here too. People probably wouldn't even understand like half the things. Like there's this part that so, and every time you watch a movie, you know they turn on the TV and it would have exactly what needs to be on there, like the information exactly what they need to know. Mm -hmm. And I did that, but if you look at the picture, the TV is unplugged. And the angels outside the window making the news happen so that it would lead her to the hell town. Hmm. So a lot of people wouldn't even know that. But um, it, it was my nod at uh, all the time that you turn on the TV and it tells you exactly what you need to know exposition wise. So I used to hate that about Matt Houston. Yeah. Anybody? Matt Houston? No. <laughs> Never heard of him. Though. That's an interesting like church right there, though. Yeah. Like yeah. It, yeah. Somebody. So it's in the back of the uh, library. And someone's oh, like, is, okay. there, is, is there a portal? Well, there's a, you, you don't see the page. They go through the door. It's like, is the door a portal? I was like, no, it's a it's a cult hiding in the back of the library. I get, oh, I like, okay. No, that's, that's pretty, uh, that's, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anubis kind of chases him in there. That's why it's hard for me not to put certain pages. I, I just want to put all the pages. Right, right. You can't show too much, but you got to show just enough. I like that. Yeah. That's, Were you that's, in that movie uh, Legion at all, uh, Clarissa? Were you in that movie I Legion? I did. That was a good movie, yeah. Right? Was, I forgot all about yeah. that movie. That was a long time Solid. ago. Um, that's her father, uh, and that is Draven's father. Um, and they have – I oh, love their banter God. because they're so sarcastic to each other. Obviously, the demon's more fun to uh, write for, um, mm -hmm. but he's pretty sarcastic. But they actually – they have a lot of banter, especially later on. And it, it, it's fun to play off of them because they're, they're supposed to be these, you know, especially the demons, like this badass guy, but he's like, you know, they, they screw up. Yeah, but they crack me up. So sarcastic. Fun writing so the did... duality of these archetypes sometimes, right? And then humanizing them a little bit. Yeah. But the, <laughs> so I did runes a lot. So it, I don't know if you can scroll on his, uh, what's on his belt, but that's actually an anklet that controls Anubis. Oh, I see make, it. 
if you read any of the runes that I put, because I figured somebody on the planet's going to, it they spell what they're supposed Come to spell. Back. Where the hell oh, did he go? Runes? Come back here. So, the anklet, so the anklet there actually in runes it says Anubis across it. Um, oh no shit! You gotta you gotta, yeah. gotta zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, see that right? But yeah, so and and and, and the prequel has a lot of runes on like the walls, and it'll say like beware, and it'll tell you certain things. So. Um, if anyone actually looks up the runes, it'll it'll spell something. So I, I love yet. the angels and demons stuff. Like, like I mean, just like you know, like the prophecy legion. Um, yeah. And if there's ever like a point where like they actually physically fight, like angels, demons, like we haven't really seen that too much in movies. Yeah. But um, oh, they man. actually <laughs> they fight in the end of book one, um, but the prequel will be how they came to be, and there's a lot of fighting with them. So the prequel is a lot about them, which I'm. I, I can't wait to freaking write up. You're gonna uh, write about how fallen angels happened. Yeah. Are you gonna, gonna go write... fantastical or are you gonna go apocryphal? Um, I well, I uh, I have no idea what that means. The, the <laughs> apocryphal the meaning, text, you know, like right? the Book of Enoch, for yeah. instance. Some of the books aren't included in the in chapters. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. the parts, the apocrypha are the parts of the Bible that didn't end up in the Bible. The missing yeah. chapters, right? Oh, and the right. missing books. It's the, the Council, Council of Nicaea, Nicaea, I think it was. Yeah, the Council of Nicaea. Decided, right? Yeah. They decided. Okay, well, what's good? What's going into this book? What's not? And what's so <laughs> odd about <The> Revelations <laughs> is that Revelations is like, wait a second, how the hell did that under, end up in there? Like, so yeah. the Apocrypha is the stuff from the Bible that was sort of left out of the Bible. That's generally speaking stuff that's really wacky. Like yeah, Mary, Mary Magdalene cool. stuff, they left her stuff out. Yes. Well, yes. No, the, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear her shit. Like, there's also that's yeah, the, um, true. That's true. Yeah. They just left there's, her in charge, and they were like, uh, uh. Yeah. No, the book no, no. of um, uh, the Joshua, book of Joshua. Joshua. What's love, brother? The, bro the book of Joshua has uh, a part that explains why. Remember, like, uh, not Enoch. Uh, uh, man, the hairy red, the red hairy brother comes in and sells his birthright for a bowl of soup. But the part in the book of Joshua explains how he did that because he thought he was going to get killed anyway because he just got done decapitating Nimrod. He was just because he's a hunter. In the book, he goes, "I'm going to go out and I'm going to decapitate the guy that was in charge of the ba of the Tower of Babylon." So he does, and then he comes back. He thinks he's being hunted. He's like, "Fuck it, I'll get yeah. Give me the soup. I don't give a shit. I'll sell you my birthright. I'm a dead man anyway." So when he said he was about to die, some pastors will go, because he was hungry. No, he wasn't hungry. He wasn't, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. No, he thought he had a tail. He thought some people were going to come in there and take his head off. So, yeah, my last meal. Right. right. Yeah, no, they, they, there's, 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 there's some really cool stuff in there. When I wrote yeah, nice. uh, Nine Devils for uh, Preston Acevedo, which hopefully he'll be working on this year, finally. That was my first time where I got to write angels and and demons and uh a rebellion in hell right oh. basically uh yeah i got to write the devil for the first time and got well that was that that was kismet because i had already done all the research and so you know i knew who the watchers were and uh you know nice. who the specific angels were yeah. that were behind uh teaching humans like how to make weapons and yeah uh, um, and all and all that stuff it all just went boop, 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 boop. i love that i love yeah. that yeah the, um, I, had, I had a blast writing that shit yeah so principalities and powers it turns out is actually different ranks yes uh real quick wanted to take a look at this this is the sequel to train to basan oh no shit okay. yeah it know. wasn't it's called peninsula Okay. Right. That's what was up next. They're like, if you like that, you're gonna love this. I'm like, I'd like to. Right. Um, people, I think, were way too hard on this movie. It was not, generally speaking, well received. I, I really don't. I, I don't know what people were expecting. I guess maybe the repeat of the first. The best way I could describe this movie is that it's kind of like, it's kind of like Zack Snyder's uh, Army of the Dead. If Army of the Dead had been good. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of like Escape from New York with zombies. It's oh. set five years uh, after the events of Train to, Train to Basan, 
And so they have uh, managed to uh, quarantine the virus. They've managed to uh, keep the zombie, zombie apocalypse from uh, spreading outside of the borders. It's contained, but it's still there. And so it's about a group of uh, people who go in to basically pull a heist. Can you because go back? There's a I'm lot sorry, of. Uh, you can you go back, back a little bit? I'm sorry. No, that's okay. You get the truck? Loosh! Yeah, the special effects, of course, are great. Yeah. And so the zombies there, for instance, there are big fucking, like, walls and mountains of zombies yeah. that have ju been just, like, pressed up against, like, uh, walls of glass for, like, five, six years, and they're just still there going, ay, 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 ay. Wow, that's got to drive you insane. Well, that's the thing. There are also people that live there because they they either uh, came in or they never left, and it's a uh, a lawless zone, basically. That guy. Uh, is this in English? Looks like Woody Harrelson uh, up in there. I'm sure that there's got to be. A, I'm sure that there's an English dub, but no, it's a Korean movie. Okay, that that guy. I think. I... Well, mind you, there are a number of Korean actors. Like, for instance, the guy who plays the big guy from uh, the first movie is in The Eternals. Generally speaking, whether or not you cross over has to do with whether or not you can speak English. Okay. Like, how good is your English? That's all. This that's guy good. reminds me of. Reminds. He looks like one of the actors from Star Blazers. Star Blazers. It's the real life the it's, animated it's series? Spaceship Yamato, but it's yes. the real life version of it. Oh, the live action version. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 man, I was disappointed by that. It might be the same actor, though. Probably, it probably is. Because also, one of the things that's cool about Asian cinema right now mm -hmm. is it's not like it's only Chinese actors in Chinese films and only Korean actors in Korean films, only Japanese actors in Japanese films. There's like a lot of crossover, which, uh, which I think is awesome. Right, so of course you're gonna have like a gang of like the deranged motherfuckers that are like using the zombies for like games. Yeah, welcome to the Cir Circus Maximus. Well, it looks like the homeless guy from the first one on the train. Yeah, none of the characters return, but oh, okay. I don't. They're, I don't know whether or not there are any of the same actors, like maybe in different roles, because like Sergio Leone would do that a lot. Oh yeah, those the kids got like a remote controlled car that she uses <laughs> uh, to distract the zombies, because the zombies will just chase after that thing because it's loud and it's colorful. And yeah. uh, you know they're not uh, they're not very bright. <laughs> well, are they the they're zombies? They yeah. seem to be active in the dark. Are they active in the dark in this one? I think so. It's cheating. Well, it depends. Well, no, not if there's a light. Not if there is a uh, a, 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 a like. Uh, remember, they could be. Uh, it wasn't that they were active. It's that they were in the dark. They were sort of blind. Yeah. But then suddenly there's this bright like disco ball, <laughs> and of course you've seen these you've seen these uh, type of remote control cars before. Those things can fucking book. Yeah. So this is less of a horror film and more of like a uh, adventure story. I would say. That's what I call mine a lot. It's horror adventure. Right. Which, which I'm fine with as long as they bring the horror, and this one does. I'm pretty sure mine does. <laughs> well, yeah, you, 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 you hope, don't you? You hope. Yeah. You hope. Yeah. But that's the thing. We, we put our stuff out there. We don't, we don't know if people are going to connect with it or not. We don't know if what we're trying to convey is going to be conveyed. That's always uh, 
that's always tough. I mean, Carissa, how do you feel about that, about putting your work out there to be judged? I think, I think my story is awesome. Like, I cool. have, like, no, I, I mean, I have, like, no self-esteem with anything I've ever done. But just, I know the story is good. It just, it has to be looked at. <laughs> like, that's, I think if people read it, they you would give like, it a ringing endorsement is what you're saying. Yeah, like, because, I mean, I, I've known, uh, I, I'm not a very good uh, writer at all. Um, I'm an amazing well, storyteller. No. Well, no, I like if I, you read my story, like my my co-writer is either blind or has love is blind. I don't know, but she loves my writing. But as far as uh, how it's written, it's not something that you could ever publish. But I can tell a story, and I, I the way I write, it's telling, it's not showing. So it works perfect with the comic books, and it's that's why the comic book is the only way that really my story would ever get out there because I I couldn't write a I couldn't write a novel and have it you know, be, you know, published or anything. So, but yeah, I'm not a very good writer. Well, I'm just a very don't good say writer. that. I mean, uh, first of all, it's not your, it's not your place to say that. I like the first book. So, yeah. Hush. Well, I mean, because no, my no, attitude no. is like, I don't know if I'm any good. People tell me I'm good. I'm like, okay, well, no, no, I, I, no. I guess. I like his book, so you hush too. No, I, what I'm saying is my, I can tell a good story. Yeah. Well, that makes you a writer. Hello. No. I'm just saying, I don't write. You know how you're supposed to write when you, you show, don't tell? Right. I don't write like that. I just, I tell my story and then it gets, and you know, so it, yeah. I, it's, not, it's not a novel. It. Yeah. Relax, you're a writer. I, would, I had this problem. I got, I, I, well, I, had to deal, I, I had to deal with this bullshit from my man, Matt, over here, where he's just like, oh, I don't know if I'm a writer. Dude, you're a writer. Yeah. It's kind of like, here's the thing. It's, I, I love what Robert Rodriguez said in, uh, in his uh, book. Uh, Rebel Without a Crew, which is all about him, like basically, like being like a test subject, like a medical test subject, in order to get money to to make uh, El Mariachi. And he was just like, oh, like you know, giving advice to young filmmakers. He was, it was, it was just like, look, if you're wondering, like, oh, am I, am I, am I a filmmaker? Am I not? He's like, buy a camera, get a camera, any camera, start shooting shit, and guess what? Slap a fucking a badge on yourself. You're a fucking filmmaker. That's what, right? yeah, that's what he Whether you are, whether you're any yeah. good or not, well, that <laughs> that remains to be seen. But you're a fucking filmmaker, <laughs> and, I, and I always feel the same way. You're a fucking storyteller. You're a fucking writer. Deal with. I it. have people coming up to me though, wanting me to write their story, and I, it's not something I can do. I don't. Right. I don't. I you know, like I can't well, go I mean, and write a short story a, or something. You want, mean, they, want, they want you to write a story that they came up with, or they want you yeah, to write their story. I want that. Like, I want they want me to write a story they came up with. Okay. I, if I wanted you to write my story, I would be like, I want you to sit there and listen to me talk about myself, and then you just write it. Down. Well, that's what, we're gonna yeah, sell. That's what editors kids. are for. That's what editors yeah, are for. Put on yeah. a recorder and, and just talk, listen to them and rewrite it over and over people. again, and well, find the fun and journey and well, the story here's out. The, well, yeah. here's the thing. It's like I have written other people's stories, yeah. and I can do that, but I mean, not, not everybody can. I wasn't sure that I could, but I tried it, and I discovered, like, hey, this actually works. As long as I'm vibing with the story, and, right. I'm, vibe, and, and I'm working with somebody really cool like Preston Acevedo or Adam Lawson. And you right? got to like it yourself. You have, have to, to like it right. myself. If you don't like it, there's no point in doing it. Is, right. is there some point, is there some part of you that's like, I? it's easier for me to like this if I imagine myself, you know, what you're doing this for them, you know, but you like. Oh, yeah. And you have to keep that in mind, too, that that's yeah. the mission is that Which this means is you're better mind. at this than they are. Well, which no. gives you a little bit it gives you a little bit of pride because then you can take like you can take they're giving you a lump of clay. This is my lump of clay. Can you please make me something out of this? You yes, see, I, I don't can. see it that well, like when I wrote. um the uh, Blood Hunt, uh, yeah. Doc Salem crossover, which Sim, if you're out there, sometime this year, please, Mofo. I, I throw lumps of clay. I mean, shit. I mean, clay at Brian all the time. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know that. But, the, but when, I wrote, the third kind when I wrote the, when I wrote the script to that, which was a blast. Uh, the way I saw it, it was like Sim and Preston invited me to uh, play in their sandboxes. Like they put their sandboxes together and gave me their action figures and invited me to play with them. Yeah. So I didn't want to like, I wanted to treat them with care. 
not break their toys, show proper respect, uh, and not take a big dump in their, uh, <laughs> in their <Yeah>. sandbox, <laughs> right? So the cats hate that. But no, well, because you have to. Th that's a job, and uh, you uh, have to have a certain sense of responsibility. You yeah, make respect. sure. First of all, I got lucky because they're both super easy to fucking work with, right? Yeah, super easy to work with. But also, it's just like, hey, if my if the if I have your character saying something that they wouldn't say, you yeah, have, you have the you have uh, veto power. You gotta let me know that. So yeah, everybody. Can... Yeah, you can't have everybody sounding the same. Tim Timothy has okay, a question. Oh, the, the oh, thing. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I was I was uh, full screening. Oh yeah, what is the craziest Korean movie that that you've ever seen? I could tell you what the craziest craziest Chinese movie is. I could tell you what the craziest Japanese movie, craziest Korean movie. Ah, uh, I would say it would have to be uh, Save the Green Planet. Save the Green Planet is not an easy movie to find. I don't think it's on any streaming services right now. But that is like a cross between. It's basically like Misery if Misery had been directed and written by Alejandro Jodorowsky. Now, if you're not familiar with Jodorowsky, then you know that that doesn't help you much. But it's a movie about a guy, a young man, who kidnaps a, a Korean uh, executive, a corporate executive that's basically responsible for killing his family. But like okay. through like uh, environmental pollution, that kind of a thing, right? Yeah. Okay. And he kidnaps him, and he's convinced that 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 he is the like emperor of a invading force of aliens that are coming to destroy the Earth. And he's like, "I'm just going to tie you to this chair in this basement. I'm going to fucking torture you. First, I'm going to cut off all your hair so that you can't uh, telepathically communicate with uh, the rest of okay. your forces." Nice. That's nice. And I'm telling you, well, what a pops. <laughs> and <laughs> and Help um, is coming. Help is coming. <laughs> and I'm telling you that that movie, it's completely bizarre. It's completely deranged. And at the end, it will break your heart. It will absolutely break your heart. The green yeah. planet. Save the green planet. Save the green planet. Uh, go out of your way uh, to find a copy of that if you can. If you are into adventurous filmmaking, uh, it is uh, you will you will be rewarded for sure. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. Um, nah. We're just about to wrap up. So, okay. uh, thank you so much for hanging out. We do appreciate you. <laughs> and, Thanks for having me on. And, and 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 everybody, go check out Worthy Chaos. Uh, link should be in the chat. I'm going to try to make sure there's one in the description too. You can people. also, uh, if you just search Worthy Chaos, it's the only thing that pops up in Kickstarter. It's in oh, the that's cool. It's in the chat. It's pinned to the top of the post. And it's in the chat. Go check it out. Watch the trailer, folks, and support indie comics. Carissa, thank you so much for hanging out. We do appreciate it. Thanks for you. having me. Any old uh, time. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, man. You want to see something cool? I want to see something pretty cool? Got this today. Ooh, nice. How oh, nice. Yeah, it's boy. Like, it's like Wrightson, dude. Yeah, it's it's not Wrightson. It, it's, it's not Wrightson. It's so not Wrightson. Uh, this is uh, the new Severin uh, double disc uh, Blu-ray from um, uh, Severin, Dracula vs. Frankenstein. And on the flip side... Al Adamson's brain of blood. Brain of Damn, blood. look at that artwork looks sick. Yeah. Al okay. Al Adamson was like Ed Wood, right? Like Ed Wood would look at okay. his movies and be like, <laughs> Dracula versus Frankenstein is his best film by far. I use best in quotation marks. This movie is outrageous <laughs> filth, outrageous trash, and you need to have it in your life. You really, really do. It's one of those movies that if it were made to be as trashy as it is on purpose, uh, the director would be a genius. <laughs> but instead it was made by Al Adamson, who became famous uh, posthumously for being uh, murdered by his handyman and cemented into his jacuzzi. 
Whoa. Wow. Yeah. And it's got the yeah. There's a uh, documentary about him actually on uh, that's on Tubi. Uh, yeah, and this is the uh, soundtrack on CD, which I can't wait to bump in my car. Dude, there's this new CD <laughs> I want to get so bad, but yeah, I gotta wait a little bit. Well, oh god. Well, that's the thing. It's like um, one of my favorite bands just came out with a new CD, and like they switched their style up for like fucking twenty years or seventeen years, and now they're finally like starting to like put it back and i'm like oh i gotta go get it <clears throat> well look there's certain shit you have to have like the uh you know i got the um that's the thing is like it's like i've been living <laughs> austerely for so long the only shit i buy is the shit that i have to have you know like the yeah. like the hammer horror figures ha like because i mean shit i you know i dreamt of having the those for 40 45 years yeah, now you <laughs> got 50, them. Really? Where are you right? finding those at? Uh they're online. Uh, okay. Some piece, uh, you can find them at some targets. Okay. That sort, really? that sort of thing. And they're like eighteen dollars a piece. But wow! Come on now, come on now. It's not only Hammer; it's Hammer Migo. That's so esoteric, so that, though. I mean, like so they have real go... clothes, right? So these aren't like these aren't action figures; these are dolls. All right. Which makes them that much that much more badass. Got the Peter Cushing, of course. I got the reptile. Nice. Got well, all you said shit. Target. Like when I go through online, a, uh, there, there's a display at our local Walmart that has some really decent, um, uh, uh, you know, car model kits for like yeah. twenty seven bucks, not even eight, like a full ten dollars more expensive. And you know, it's not like snap together. You know what I mean? They're not oh, yeah, yeah. All... like actual model kits. Yeah. In They're Japan. There. There's I didn't pick one up yet. I, I can't bring myself to do it. And, well, it. and it's not even like I don't want to build it. Of course I do, but like every time I look at one of them, I'm like, I got way too much stuff going on. How how can I? It has to be well, the you perfect know what you thing. Do. It has to be like a Buick GSX. It's gotta be that car, and then yes. I'll do it, you know. Yes. Well, yeah, no, but yeah, but that's the thing. Then you have to do it. And, and then I like, will do it, yes. Yeah, and it was, just, it was just like, oh, I shouldn't be spending money on shit like this. Yeah, but, with my wife standing but, right next to me. <laughs> but, but here's how I justify it. Here's how I justify it. If I don't pay $18. Now you'll be paying $28 now for the Christopher next Lee year. Frankenstein yeah. monster mm -hmm. or the zombie from Plague of the Zombies. Mm-hmm. Right, and these are really sweet sculpts too. I have to say, the sculpts are the sculpts are very good. If I don't buy them now, they're going to get snapped up by speculators, and then later on, I'm going to have to pay fifty, hundred bucks. Right. The same yeah. motherfuckers that ruined comic book collecting, the but speculators I mean, that, that's, that's ruined going, toy collecting. Indie I comic book a... stuff is going like that on eBay now. So you see, I'm saving money. I'm gonna look. <laughs> you're that's very. How, that's you're, how you're, 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 you're actually you're, you're you're making a lot of sense. I think you and Kit Bash should get together and um, make some stuff that is going to be worth a lot of money in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That reminds yeah, that, me, I that, gotta go see my neighbor down the street. He's gonna help me. In, he's gonna help me understand calls and puts. Somebody is somebody who like does trading just because he gets bored sometimes. He yeah. understands everything. I'm like, I need to go talk to that guy. I love it. Dudes, for real. And I, I, I do not mean to derail this stream, but no, no, no. We're, we're about to wrap up. Zane, so derail all you like. Zane made twelve hundred bucks on that meme stock shit. Oh really? And went for a vacation with his girlfriend to Tennessee. He's like, he made twelve hundred bucks and just took a vacation. I'm like, damn. Please, I mean, this is like, this is like my son, and I'm like, please tell me everything you know. That well, is gangster as fuck, I, dude. I he made hundred dollars. That stuff. It was like the the whole point behind my my son learning a game is like the point is this: learn the rules for the sole purpose of exploiting its weaknesses and then bang 
I'm yeah. like, well, that's, that's my point. I made boy. $400 in five minutes, and then I didn't have $400 in six minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. It went up and then uh, down uh, again. I leave uh, NFTs, like, all I, the I, NFT shit. Oh, like, I don't even like, know. I, I can't. I can't with some of that stuff. I just like, I I'm leaving it alone anymore. I'm like, I, don't, I just want a good financial advisor. Tell me where to put the money. And then later on, yes, hopefully it works out. Yes. Everything I've ever done to make money was listening to somebody else tell me what to do. <laughs> Seriously. But right. that, which is why it's like, you know, we need, we are hiring you to do this. Okay. I'll do that. And then I'm, and now I'm doing that. I'm hating it, but I'm doing it because <laughs> it's paying the bills. Right. No, and, and, and that's what that shit's about ultimately at the, uh, at the end of the day. So yeah. folks, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we're going to take a look at next week's movie because, uh, we're going to be having another guest on that has a book, uh, uh, it's skipping my mind right now, and the name of, of the uh, of the creator is skipping my mind right now. But he'll have to uh, forgive me. But uh, I asked him, like, "Hey, like, you know, what movie could we do as long as it's not behind a paywall?" Just so ha- he gave me a couple of names. Just so happens, I found the abominable Doctor Fives beautiful Blu-ray cut on YouTube, and for some reason, people are much more likely to check the movie out when I post, uh, when I post the link, they're much more likely to check it out if it's to a YouTube and not to a Tubi. Okay. Like a lot of people don't know what Tubi is and maybe they don't trust oh, it sense. or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And if, uh-huh. like, people like I, familiarity. So I'm, I'm usually marketing. schooling people on what Tubi is. Most people don't know what it is, dude. No, they really, like, in real really life. Like, what too, the fuck is so many people know what Plex is. But yes, this is the abominable Dr. Five starring Vincent Price, which we will be covering next week. Hell yeah. By the way, I well, think the animation decided. here. I'm glad it's been decided now. <laughs> this video, um, this trailer, by the way, by Terry Gilliam. Oh, really? oh well, that makes sense. Now that you say that, I'm like, oh, what yeah, totally. For a murder. Or two. Or three. Or nine. Who's this? Your daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet a dear friend. The money shot. Nine. Caroline Monroe. Killed you. Nine shall die. Your wife, no fives. But. Joseph Cotton. You I will kill. But you can't, Doctor. I am already dead. Damn, he's got a voice modulator. Nice. Yep. How are we going to get him off this? Like Batman. You take his head. <laughs> yeah, he, does, he, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> give a... Well, that's also... We discovered that uh, that face that he's wearing. Yeah, he's literally wearing it. That's not his real face. I'll take his feet. Let's unscrew him. Um, yeah. Oh. That's dope. Doctor, bye. Who samples? Oh, and and it's kind of a comedy. The finer things of life. So I should be smoking my Arturo Fuentes uh, work of art while I'm watching and experiments. This, this well, I I would say that this movie is very very 60s. Fascinating instruments. It's a good it's a good cigar, but boring. The water, the guitar. No, I'm I'm the time I'm. I miss uh, I miss smoking stogies. <laughs> Nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. Because uh, oils, bats. Nice. Frogs, yes. And because of blood. I I had some bats in my attic. In the bloody middle. Oh, really? bats were ador- bats are adorable. Oh, no. I never got to see them. I only got to see their shit. Oh no! <laughs> like, of course, the 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 bat here was like a big old flying fox, like a fruit bat. <laughs> oh. Are you ready? Total terror. Yeah. Well, as soon as you said that. He also did the opening the most credits scene for uh, Cry of the Banshee, which is another Vincent Price movie. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because when you see that animation, you start laughing, 
even though you're not meant to laugh because you have that context. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like there's this Western where uh, <laughs> Curly, uh, uh, Curly Joe from uh, the Three Stooges plays like a uh, an Curly. outlaw that's pretending to play. No, not Curly. Curly Joe. Curly Joe Dorita. Yeah. Okay. The third so, replacement. That's Shemp, right. but the other guy. Right. So there's a scene. It's, it's a Western with Gregory Peck. And so he's playing a uh, an outlaw who's pretending to be the hangman. Right? Ooh. So he shows up to, like, take the guy's weight and measure him and everything. And uh, instead he pulls his gun to, to bust his friend out of prison. And guns go off. And Curly Joe catches one right between the eyes. And his body oh. is laying there. And you cut to a close-up of him just laying there with a bullet hole between his eyes and you can't help but just die laughing. Cause it's just like, damn, he could survive like a, a anything from Mo, like getting hit in the small of a back with a, well, all of the gags, gags. but all, like, all man, of, Curly all, Joe's all seen better days. Gags. He survived being one of the three stooges and there's right. a lot of punishment involved in being one of the, there's this right. and there's the, but, the, this but it's only funny with but, that context. Yeah. It's yeah. not that he's miscast. It's just that, oh, shit, man, Curly <laughs> Joe's seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> a big bullet hole between his eyes. Yeah. Between his eyes, his eyes oh, still open and That's shit. what Mo should have done. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> Mo finally <laughs> quit fucking him right now. finally figured out, oh, all I do is shoot him between. Oh, you just shoot these motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Everybody, thank you so much for uh, for hanging out tonight. We do love you. We do appreciate your su support. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe and the ring-a-ding-ding-dong, the uh, the little bell, if you feel like it, because, hey, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But on the do way out, way. do it live. I'm going to tell Pops, you what to do. Pops, tell, tell these folks, fools, where they can find you. Um, Madness Comic on Twitter. Um, comic Talk with Pops Van Zant on YouTube obviously, and bring in as many shows as we can to the Madness Comic Network. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dave, where can these fools find you? Uh, on Earth. Also okay. in uh, the United States and then even more locally on idcrisisdesign.com. ID Crisis or Identity Crisis on any social media channel, uh, thing, app, whatever, and that's, uh, that's where I be. Excellent. Thank you. And Jeff, where can these fools find you? Uh, I'm on YouTube at Kit Bash Federation. Just look for me there. And uh, that's where most of my stuff is. My opinions are on Twitter, but we'll leave that apart. We'll leave that <laughs> apart. <laughs> and everybody, I hope you forgive me for calling you foos. Foos. Um, foos. Foo is Matt, good. Where can these foos find you? Uh, if you guys can, you can find me on Twitter at Rune Cutter Comic. Uh, if you guys want to check out my channel on YouTube, it's Metal Movies and Brewskies. Mm. And if you want to support me, you can back my book, Butch Cleaver uh, 1 or 2 at ButchCleaver.com. It's a supernatural horror western. It's about good a voodoo stuff. Butcher really good stuff. Brought back to life by a voodoo curse. And if you guys want, I'm doing uh, um, commissions right now. So if you want, DM me on uh, on Twitter. Those that are really, was, really, that was really good. So rate the God those contest. Those are real worth did, looking so. into, too. That's Everybody awesome. loves your stuff so much. They're like, I'm trying to lay out some information. I want them to know where to find me. I know, but we're too busy talking about how awesome you are. Homeboy's leveled up. I'm telling you. It's yeah, sick. Yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah, brother. Fuck yeah. Uh, thanks, man. Oh, that is bad. Yeah. Man. I'm My commissions you, are open. If you guys want, hit me up on Twitter and maybe we can work something out. Uh, oh, I love yeah. your shit in black and white, man. <laughs> Looking at your stuff reminds me of some awesome stuff that I've seen other people do too. I mean, yeah, you're like, you're like, you're like up there. No you know? worth it. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm telling you, homeboy has leveled the fuck up. Yeah, when I see that, remember <laughs> Brian Young? Remember Brian Young's art? Yeah, yeah. That's when I see his. That's why I got straight to his King Diamond. I mean, it makes good. me happy. It makes yeah. that's, 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 uh, he's he's referring happy. to a buddy of ours from high school who's a very talented artist. So we just hung out and drew stuff together. There's, it was a, a, a great time. Yeah. Nice. Good guy. Good artist. Just like you, man. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. They, you guys are equally as weird. <laughs> 
Cool. Nice. I'm not saying that it, I'm, I'm not saying that that's a good or a bad thing. I'm just saying I was about to say I was, I was about to yeah. say, you know, it's just like <laughs> no, don't worry people. about it. Man. I always rate myself you're here. I always rate myself F for freak. If you so, were if, 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 they look like the Hansen brothers up if, there on the top. Be yeah, if, you were, if you if you if you were if you were out of hand, I wouldn't be hanging with you, but you're good. So we're and, it's awesome. And 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 I am gonna have I'm gonna, man, my Throat's getting all, all, all sore. I'm gonna have to like get some, get get some get some herbal tea, hot toddy, I think. But uh, Matt also got your script. I will be checking this out, brother. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, man. So nice. just so you know, and same thing with you, Dave. You know. Yeah, no, I know. I I'm, I've been. I was typing today. I was spray painting today. I was as people left me alone for a couple of hours. I actually feel like I did some shit. Nice. That's it, it was nice. A vinyl install. I was I was doing all kinds of stuff today. I feel, hey man, like, be productive. I feel like it contributed to the planet somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every day, do something. Do yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, Pops, you want to take us out, brother, man? I got you. Trailers, okay. trailers, Everybody? trailers. All right. Peace, love, and metal. Pay us no attention, it's all conspiracy We have satire and parody, some funny, some perverse If none of it's offensive to you, you'd be the first Doctor is in, baby. This is Doc Blaylock, and you're watching the Madness Comic Network.
In a world where creatures of myth and legend exist, a covert task force is charged with keeping humanity safe from supernatural threats. And when young Nancy Moon stumbles into the eternal battle between good and evil, she finds... <laughs> oh my god, will you shut up? What's happening? Agent Beckett here. Aren't you tired of stuff like that? Want something different? Roll the tape. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. That's a song I'm writing for my ex. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Alrighty. Welcome to the world of the mythicals. We have it all. Monsters. Magic. Government agents. He's the strong silent type. This guy. Ugh, gross, dude. Get some kind of cream or something. Lots of 90s style action. Pew, pew, pew. And that strong female lead alluded to earlier. Mm hmm Not to mention a dashing field commander with a great sense of fashion. Look at those glasses. South River Studios presents The Mythicals, Issue 1. Buy it, if you dare. <laughs> Ugh. Will you can it already? How'd you get free? Now beat it before I lose my cool. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Like right now. Sign up today on Indiegogo. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. 